Maul, do you think that Rory will get will get diamonds on a Rolex in this lifetime? Or would? Yeah. Me too. Barks, do you think that? I see Rory. Yeah. yeah I can see well, it. one, that brings the value lower, so I wouldn't do that. Two, well, when have you I'm guys thinking. ever seen me with diamonds, period? Fake diamonds, real diamonds, anything that's flashy, when have y'all ever seen me with it? Um, you got good diamonds in a Rolex and not be flashy and then not bring the value down. And because you you've never done diamonds. something doesn't mean that you won't do it in the near future. Yeah, plus we haven't seen you with like a lot of money. Word. You know. All right. Well. We ain't even going to talk about Duce Inc. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> that is a dark, dark <laughs> deeper criminal link. Yeah. All right, man. All right. I guess I'm uh, 2019 icing out the Rolex. I think yeah, so. Ma, you, you, you I can got, see him with like a little Jesus piece too. You lost the value in your shit, man. You put diamonds in it. Damn, Ma, why you do that? He didn't know. Oh. He didn't know. He got it from the Bronx. <laughs> the Rolex from the Bronx <laughs> When you get your Rolex from the Bronx <laughs> On 3rd Ave That's what happens man 3rd Ave <laughs> More definitely got a Rolex from 3rd Ave Word. I haven't even been At a third jewelry ave store that years. was surrounded by jewelry stores You did 3rd <laughs> Ave is crazy Happy New Year Happy New Year everybody out there Y'all you know I mean Y'all know what time it is You know the fucking vibes Did you have a lot of pressure picking a song? This is one of song my of the year. No, this is the, one of the uh, songs that black people celebrate with. Everything. Everything. <laughs> Barack, <laughs> Barack, barbecues. <laughs> Barack. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You couldn't go outside and not hear this when Barack won. Shit, Barack played this when he won. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fact. He did. Yeah. Hope everybody had a good New Year's Eve. Hope everybody was safe. If you wasn't safe, hope you're not listening to us. <laughs> hope you're healing and <laughs> recuperating. <laughs> Sound I'm feeling. It's my vibe right now in the New Year 2019 tip. Positive vibes. All of that bullshit that niggas say. Let's give it up to Rory. He went to the gym today like a fucking loser. <laughs> Round of applause yeah. for Rory and his loserness. New year, new me. Oh, wow. God. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Let's go, Bills. Take us home. <laughs> Take us home. <laughs> Is this in the celebration of the song? Was this on, was this on Maul's Rockefeller playlist? No, Probably ended it with it. that. No. That's I, a think, great record, I think white people just celebrate with like Sweet Caroline or something. I think For that's, sure. I think that's, that's our a, sign sealed yeah. to deliver. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> and y'all hold, y'all holding on daily for post No, 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 no. And a journey record. Oh yeah, we'll and definitely get a journey record it. off. Yes, yeah. come on. Don't stop. Yeah. Well, bon Jovi black, too. I feel like black people should uh, claim that record too though. What's the Bon Jovi one? Living Out of Prayer? Yeah, I don't think that's up there with Journey, though. Nah, nah, that's up there. White people love Journey so much, they ended The Sopranos with it. <laughs> it had nothing to do with the show. <laughs> we, we still don't know how The Sopranos ended. He Tony died. got killed. White people just be doing shit, man. <laughs> we do now. You're just guessing. They never showed shit. Nigga had a meal and went to the car. <laughs> <laughs> Paid the check. Word. Yeah, the whole family just sat in the car and chilled. the greatest chilled. TV series ever ended with onion rings. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty funny. Uh... Microphone check one two one two. Oh yeah, no, we're dragging this podcast out. <laughs> no, 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 we're not. No, we're not. We're not. We're not. Even though we have every reason to, I have. I have more than enough faith and confidence in our ability to guide through a sl- not only a slow news week. But a week in which we probably should not be here. For, I want to start this podcast. Let's hold off an introduction. I want to apologize to you, brothers, man. About what? Because we shouldn't be doing this podcast. <laughs> you know, I know we shouldn't we, be doing this. We shouldn't this. be doing this podcast Fuck right that. now. The right fucking Come work. on, man. No. Nah. Right the gyro shit on the corner was closed. No. I was get a gyro. I was like, all right, if the gyro people aren't here. Exactly. <laughs> why, why we, we have a podcast. responsibility no. to the people, man? Oh, look at you, title, man. <laughs> they, they, listen, they listen to us. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, listen, they listen to us. They look it's, to us, wait, man. Wait, is title man talking about responsibilities? <laughs> why are you calling me title, man? Hey. Hey, what? Hey. What is hey? We'll get into it. It. Okay, we'll get, we'll get into, into it. it. Uh, Roy's got a point, man. The gyro guy is, is probably the most consistent person in, in the a world. Hurricane, in the you world. could probably get a gyro. Yeah, you could. I was well, you know, in, in the hurricane, I'm rolling with the Chinese food guy first. <laughs> Yo, when Sandy took out half of Jersey City, the, the Chinese place had flashlights and a little pilot shit, and they was cooking food it's lit. during Sandy. It's lit. When, when the lights was out in Jersey for three weeks, the Chinese man was delivering. 
Oh yeah. We eating shrimp fried rice. When, <laughs> when's the last time y'all saw a stray dog? It's been a while. It has been a long time. Every night when fucking Sally Struthers interrupts my program to, re- <laughs> to, to, to record them and say that I should donate 39 cents a month. <laughs> and, I, and I'm like, why are you recording? Get the dog. <laughs> get Wait, word. Why get, get the, the dog. Get the fucking dog is freezing. You over here with a fucking voiceover, Sally. No. I haven't seen a stray dog in years. I just That was a random thought. Uh, you know, speaking of that random thought, I think I read something that said California has passed a rule or a law that says, well, somebody passed a law. Don't fucking take my word. <laughs> <laughs> that I think Cali's only allowed to sell uh, rescue dogs now as pets. Yeah. Okay. That's pretty cool. Wait, so you can't like breed the rescue and... Make like rescue puppies. I don't know, Rory, and this is one of those times where you try to make a joke at an inappropriate time. I, 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 no, I, I, I really don't know. Want to know if you can bring hey, dogs. Can you kill the? I don't know. I don't know. That doesn't make you. Don't bring me into dog. your. You went to the gym today. You want to start your year like this? <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out like if it's already rescued, then how do we? We just throw them back out there and rescue you, them listen, again. You, you, how do you keep the dog population no, going? If, if, if Rory, see this, I get confused. Rory knows that I love him, yet he ignores me when I get him away from this. Let's just leave it. <laughs> let's, let's, it's fine. Just walk but, away from hey, it. Fuck listen, them dogs. I want to talk about Bill Cosby. <laughs> fuck them dogs. <laughs> <laughs> I really just wanted to come here to talk um, about him. I owe my brothers an apology because about two weeks ago or three weeks ago, December has been filled with holiday dates. Three weeks ago, these guys said, yo, man, what are we going to do about the first? Because it falls on a Tuesday. And I was like, ah, we'll just record. <laughs> yeah. yeah And here we are Here we are And I ain't gonna lie to y'all I should be in bed still I, I, I didn't wanna leave bed I didn't, <laughs> I didn't wanna get out of bed Really? Did you get to everybody, it last Everybody ha- is having a New Year hangover there, there was no traffic out Rory's right The gyro guy's not there People aren't there The bums went to their cousin's house The streets is empty <laughs> Chappelle, Chappelle show was on all day on Comedy Central Damn and yeah, I just, yeah, I just and here, like, we here we go. are. Here we go out in the fucking streets talking about what's good out there. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nothing good. <laughs> <What's> good? Ain't <laughs> not, <laughs> let me tell you what's going on with these albums. You know, <laughs> it's, it's no albums dropping. Let's deep dive into the there's skills no wrap news. up. <laughs> hey, yeah, word. Let me be clear with anybody listening because I don't know if you. Oh wait, we didn't even introduce this motherfucker. <laughs> Welcome to the Joe Button Podcast. Happy New Year, everybody. What, what episode is this? Episode 200, thank you, Savon, for such diligent work. You're starting uh, your new year off right. I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm feeling your swag out there. Yeah. Uh, episode 209 of the Joe Budden Podcast. I'm your host, Joe Budden, here with a few of my nearest and dearest friends. Maul's here, thankfully. Got a pass from Elliot Wilson to be here with us. <laughs> Parks is here. Rory is here. I see what's er- going on. Erickson is here. Uh, I see. And Savon. Pardon I me, see. Mom. I'm trying I to introduce you. No, they know, they know who's no, here. Don't do that, they man. They start, I'm trying to start they the year off right. They know who's in. Uh, no, no, we got a new audience. No, no, ain't no new audience. Nah, it's a new audience. It's the same niggas. It's nah, the same it's the same same new niggas out there. Nah, it's the same niggas. They back. Maul, Maul maybe they back. brought some people from Title over to Spotify. Maul, Maul, thank you, Russell. Maul, what type what of fucking fucking junkie ad, ad junkie you turning into, man? What, you want? what type ad, of fucking Rockefeller hype beast are you becoming? Oh, right Rocky. before my very eyes. You were the last, the last of the Mohicans. What do you mean? I just made a playlist. Yeah, but I didn't like I didn't like how Elliot promoted it. What you, how do you promote it? He promoted it. Tell me I'm lying. How do you promote it? Tell me I'm Elliot. I, no, I will say Elliot. I've never seen Elliot do the swipe up thing mm. except for Maul's playlist. I'm wow. like, damn, I gotta swipe up and it says Maul. <laughs> yeah, word like Maul is swipe so swipe upable. I'm never swiping up to look at Maul. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys. On Did, Elliot's what, Instagram. What, what, yeah, but wait, then I went to Maul a little insta insta snap. He telling me to swipe up. I'm like, fam, your request <laughs> game you is swipe. wild. I'm not telling you don't, to swipe. Why are you requesting I even, this? I don't even do the swipe. You up did thing. ask me to no, swipe I just, up. I just reposted with. That's Elliot the post. wildest thing you ever asked me to do, my just, nigga. Swipe up. No, no, don't look away. Look at me. I just that's I just repost. Posted with Elliot posted. I just want you to know you are way too cool to ask me, a dear friend of yours, I to swipe up. I, hey, I, I chose no. Okay. I didn't swipe up. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Fuck but is this I, I nigga just, I just was reposting You think I'm Elliot. starting my year with, with, that, with swiping up to more? <laughs> Well, thank you guys. I appreciate your support for my. But anyway, I'm, no, 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 no. Let's get these jokes off first. We're okay. not supporting. Okay. Elliot's tweet <laughs> said, it was so hype beastie. Come on, Elliot. Don't start the fucking 2019 off being hype beastie. It said, Maul, which is cool because you're Maul mm-hmm. and you did it. I'm Maul, yeah. <laughs> Maul of the at Joe Budden pod. Mm. And I'm like, damn, come on, L, don't throw us in that mix. But cool because 
Maul is of the Joe Button pod. Right. Yes. So I can't beat. That is in fact. He said Maul everything, everything checks out so far. That's why I can't beef okay, the But I was beefing though. Okay. But I was beefing. Oh, I'm going to snuff him. Don't say yeah. What you mean? Hold up. But then it got worse. Stop. Don't make jokes yet. It said <laughs> Maul of the Joe Button pod mm-hmm. decided to make a playlist. That's right, y'all. Big's brother <laughs> and right, hip hop's brother, heir to the throne. Yes, it got it. That's right, the J. Beyonce f- picture guy. Yeah. He was there. Yeah, it did a lot, my yeah. G. And I was like, fam, the, the really? Prince, the Prince Yo, of Rockefeller. I don't even want to hear the mm. hear the tunes now. Okay. The like tunes. You, yeah, you <laughs> took me through. On you walked the dog too long, man. There's some good joints on there. I have fun picking those records. All right, can you can you tell us a little more? Like, oh no, Elliot just reached out and and asked for a, a playlist. So I was like, yeah, just picked a couple joints. He got options on the playlist. He picked up. They got title got options. No, title doesn't have options. All right, I'm gonna, you know? I'm gonna swipe up. I know. <laughs> yeah, we might. We <laughs> might <laughs> swipe up. We might. Whoa! The swipe up took us to. Th- oh shit, yo! <laughs> I got to read did your you, contract. You, uh, <laughs> no, nah, I got to read your. No, he's gonna start man. the year getting fired. What you mean? <laughs> that is nuts. Oh, I see what he did. He tried to say face created by title. Mm-hmm. Didn't put created by Maul. Mm-hmm. Oh, so you could still be yeah, Spotify. The lawyers gang. were like, "Yo, Maul, you." Can I don't be know, that. Rory. Maul was never gang, gang, gang. He was never one of us. <laughs> what you talking about? Baby? Like, he like, really? He didn't take the risk with us. Yeah, like he wasn't really in the gym. Now that I'm looking at his hat, <laughs> I'm just saying I would just like some support from my brothers. That's all. I swiped up no, just I'm now. Not, okay, I'm, thank you, Rory. No, I'm not swiping up. I'm not retweeting none of that. Yeah, but then Damn. the Joe Button Pa be retweeting Revolt all the time. Like, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I don't so tell Savon to do that. Talk about it, Maul. You don't. I don't never I, want I, I, I know you don't. I know. Yeah, like, I don't know if it's I want to It's a lot of state of the culture. It's a lot of, you know what I mean, <laughs> pull-ups and shit. Like, <laughs> it's a lot of shit in a Joe Button pod that ain't the Joe yeah. Button pod. Like, I don't want to say, don't say nothing. And listen, man, I just sit back, I chill. Y'all know I'm, listen, no, man, I'm the coolest nigga in the room. I don't know how many times you like to see the six best media personality yeah, of 2018 like, article a, yeah. from Vibe magazine. Everything that ain't Why Joe Button pod yo? get retweeted by Joe Button pod. But my all playlists don't get retweeted. It's okay, man. You know, just enjoy the record. Savon, man. why you not retweeting more shit, man? Nah, it's all no, it's okay. No, 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 you won't. No, you won't. No, no, you won't. Don't make jokes. No, you'll be, you'll be fired <laughs> yeah, with him. Yeah, like, don't die. See? <laughs> and, and he won't hire you at his next destination. See? Wait, <laughs> hold on. Can we get into Savon looking for an intern for his podcast? From the Joe Button pod? Listen, man. Oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man. I, we don't even get clips to our phone no more. I don't. Oh, even, no, I don't. I don't get no we don't. We yeah, don't. I don't know what's er- going Erickson on. Erickson and Savon, and and, and and I don't want to start the year off with just unloading our dirty laundry up here. But <laughs> why don't we, we get really clips anymore on our scenes. phone? We're the number one podcast. Imagine if y'all sent us clips to promote. Mm. <laughs> like I don't be understanding niggas thinking. You need the Joe Button. Why we can't <laughs> get clips from you two niggas? Look, now niggas is in their phone. That's Eric's why. That's why you need an intern. Eric said, "Eric said, adjusting the camera. Yeah, he adjusting the camera. <laughs> it's he's it's here. Yo, we, we got some focus. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he looking over there, and they see us. Oh, we got three. Oh, we got, so got three cameras now. Oh shit. Okay. Oh, that's, that's why wild. we can't get clips. Yeah. yeah. All right, listen, listen, <laughs> listen. Edits. All of you people that are, a shout out to our Spotify listenership, 13 minutes in. Uh, our, U- <laughs> our YouTube viewership, shout out to all of our uh, mature and immature audience. Shout out to the hedge fund boys. Shout out to the, uh, pause. Shout out to the, co- <laughs> shout out to the boys. college people that are listening. Shout out to y'all. Don't want y'all to feel left out. Uh, and I think that's everybody. So, top of the new year. Happy new year to everybody. We are blessed enough to be here to see another day another year another time a round of applause for that a lot of people didn't make it that's important never want to lose the the gratitude and the humility absolutely uh and now that we're here uh so what did everybody do let's get that out the way i just had game night with the family game night what kind of game did you use your playlist as like we didn't play no games that's funny shit we were supposed to (laughs) we just sat around chill ate crack jokes watched the ball drop Mm. Listen to some music. That was it. It was. Ch- I think the weather kind of fucked shit up. It did. Because a lot of people was like, "Yo, we gonna stay in." So I was like, "All right, cool." That was my type of weather. <laughs> yeah, but it was a, it was nasty out though. It was. But it was it was cool though. I mean, I, I like I like just chilling. I don't like doing a club thing on New Year's. It's too crazy. Niggas want to charge you five hundred for the same club you was just in last week for free. That's true. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm not hey, but you got that. diamonds in your Rolex. You got five hundred. Yeah, but it's still I don't want to do that. <laughs> 
I seen the Mixy Boys was out. Niggas was hitting my phone like, yo, your whoa, boys whoa, is whoa, here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. First Where of all, you at? First of all, it's R and B. It's R and B. Get it right. Look, niggas always try to find the <laughs> yeah. the red tape to be like, yo, nah, we was only there because you know they play R and B set, so we went to check it out. Like, <laughs> no, nah, no, we, we are R and B. No, we're R and B. Rory oh. and Button, y'all are the Mixy Boys. Oh, R and B was out in the streets last night. You had your R and B outfit on. I saw that. Did you have jewelry on your shoes? Wait, I, I missed the shoes. He did click his heels three you times. You went a lot of so heels in Jersey City. What's up with you in these heels? <laughs> like you went a lot of like shoe boots. <laughs> What's up with your shoe boots? I don't know if I like the shoe boots. Shoe going. boots. Yeah, your shoe, shoe boots. boots. Shoe boots. Shoe boots. You First gotta get out here with the Yo, you boots, can't man. clown fat for having an anklet and then your shoes has ten anklets. Yeah, like you got jewelry on your boots, fam. I don't know if I like that, Joe. I, nah, you you starting would... to dress like um. You ain't like my shoe boots. What's my man from Aventura? What's his name? <laughs> Romeo, Romeo, yeah, you dress Romeo. like Romeo Santos now. The, the, nobody said Romeo. You just knew it. Shut up, man. No, I heard. I heard Park's girlfriend from the kitchen. Yeah, she, you ain't. You ain't like my. Oh, she did. Yeah, you ain't, you ain't like my shaboots. I don't like. I don't know if I like the shaboots. On <laughs> I didn't wear them out though. I just took the flick and took them off. <laughs> oh, I don't even want to see what you gave him in the streets if you took the shaboots off. <laughs> no, so I'm comfortable. He's nice. No, he oh, the shaboots are in Balenciagas. Oh, you went. You gave him. You gave him the ballys, the Balencies. <laughs> Bally's. So mm-hmm. so yeah yeah okay. that, that's what I did. That's give, what I give did. them the ballys. I just was trying to be comfortable. I wasn't okay. trying to give them anything. The shaboots um, just for the for the flick. Let them know that that's that's part of your sauce. You got those in the tub. You could have went. You could have gave them the shaboots, but it was raining. These are suede. You ain't want to give them the suede in the rain. I understand. And and Joe kind of did the the new hipster thing where Ooh, you wear like a, a white this. rock star that you don't know who it is on your shirt. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I kind of felt like. He didn't really have no right calling anyone a hipster. Yeah, anyway. It was Kiefer Sutherland. You, Kiefer you had to Google it. Sutherland. This nigga wearing Kiefer, Kiefer, Kiefer Sutherland on his shirt now. Yeah, Kiefer on your shirt. Who this, are you? This punk, what, whoever I am, this podcast <laughs> is not to find out. Okay. Like, y'all just come here and joke on me. We yeah, have a just, job no, to do. No, we're just kicking here. it today, man. Let's just, no, no, no we're not it, just man. kicking we, it. We, we have things to I mean, discuss. What do we have to discuss? What happened? What happened? I don't care about the culture today. Let's just make fun of your boots. It's fuck the culture today. Some days you just got to say, fuck the culture, man. I don't give a fuck with We've been giving way too much to the culture. Yeah, like, I don't care what rappers dropping who. Uh, whatever. <laughs> Somehow Parks and, and Ian and Cynthia conned me into going to a white boy bar last night we to sure bring did. in to bring in New Year's Eve. Mm. Let me give you Parks was early on the con. He hit me first after he had a side <laughs> meeting with Ian. True. He hit me about six AM. He said, Hey, just a heads up. This is phony loyalty. Mm. Hey, just a heads up. They're gonna try to get you to go to the white boy bar in the city. <laughs> I know that's against your plans, but I'll be the one to tell you. Went there a few years ago. It was a blast. Consider it. It was. So it now was I'm going to sleep with, with Parks' is considerate on my mind. <laughs> you were not going to sleep. You were waking up. No, I was going to sleep. You're a psychopath. I'm going to sleep. Four o'clock. Uh, then what happened? Then Ian infiltrated my home through Cynthia. <laughs> mm-hmm. Hit her and was like, hey. That's a sneaky move. That is Spanish a- music in the city. There was L- no Spanish music. L- Ellie, L- yes. <laughs> Ian they, lied. They had white versions of all the Spanish music. I've never. It was like backwards of how it usually Listen, goes. Listen, I love Blink One Eighty Two, but it just wasn't my when the ball dropped song. This wasn't. <laughs> yeah. So I end up going. Long story less long. I end up going. This wasn't a fun white bar. I mean, it was a cool white bar. It was great, mm-hmm. great, great vibe. But mm-hmm. it wasn't like the lit, lit white bar. It mm-hmm. was just like a cool white bar. So I brought in the year. Just at a cool white bar. <laughs> with, Which with is a lot, I, with I, a lot of white. You know what I did also love? Ian was like, yo, we got these three sections all completely full with strangers. So he's like, yeah, no, just grab whatever you want. I was like, so I should just go and sit next to the stranger and take no, their that's, bottle? That's not true. That's what New Year's they, about. We, we knew a lot of those yeah, we knew people over there. We knew most of the people. Well, no, here. that's. Me and, and all are not to the top entertainment. Like, we don't know the, the employees. <laughs> to the well, top. Well, Maul is title. You're Rock Nation. That's I'm, where the divide I'm, is. I'm not title. That's true. That's where the divide is, because title and Rock Nation don't really be talking to each other. Y'all got to talk yes, more. Yes, they do. <laughs> <laughs> they don't really be talking. Y'all got to talk in the same office. Y'all two niggas got to kick it, man. No, um, y'all two niggas been kicking it. Y'all, y'all, I need to know more about what the R&B be doing. How y'all R&B and don't hear no R&B at for New Year, though? They didn't play one R&B that song is true. the entire time. Y'all starting I brought off. my New Year into Limp Biscuit and <laughs> and Jay Z, wow. but the, like the, the, the alternative the, Jay Z remix, yeah. yeah, the mashup, the, like the, the Lincoln Park yeah, version, the mashup yeah, he album. He was wild. He was wild. <laughs> I was like, "Yo, what am I doing? We we gotta go. <laughs> we we gotta go." I was in the bed before two o'clock. 
we got to go. And then we didn't know nowhere to go. We didn't know nowhere to go. So then we just went outside and just was like, all right, where are we going? And then we just stood there looking stupid in the rain. <laughs> oh, nah. That is a fact. Uh, then we went somewhere else. No, it, was, it was kind of cool, man. <laughs> what, what, what do people do to celebrate New Year's Eve? Like, I'm I kept saying, we, I don't we know where with your anybody plan. is. We should have just been to, at the crib. That's I'm, what I thought I the plan to, was done, up until 3 p.m. I'm done planning with all of you. I'm done planning with all How, of you. I'm not, I'm not throwing Rory in that mix, but because Rory was still with the plan. But I'm, I'm, I'm I was still with the plan. You said you was going to hit me and let me know. <laughs> what you mean? <laughs> this is you? definitely like the dirty laundry <laughs> behind no, the scenes podcast. That's what Joe said. The last uh, last week, he said, "Yo, I'm gonna hit you and let you know." That is true. You, you never hit. Me. I so thought. I, I thought Joe's mom from, was cooking. I, was like, I thought Joe's mom was cooking. I was really Listen, excited mom, all mom, day. Oh, the potluck! We're gonna have yeah, a potluck. We're gonna... My mom made ten pounds of spaghetti, man, which was great for, <laughs> but... for, the, for the blast. So we, we, for the blast, <laughs> <laughs> for the blast. <laughs> yeah, what do you want me to? You do? have spaghetti for the next two weeks? <laughs> no, it's almost gone. Damn. Damn. And listen, Trey is hungry. <laughs> I don't know what my baby mom's over there doing. <laughs> he just be hungry. Well, he came over there, ate three pounds of spaghetti with his girlfriend, and said, Pops, who me to Applebee's? I'm like, fam, wait. <laughs> so you going to leave from here to go to Applebee's? I don't know what you're doing in your life. Oh, he probably went to go get some drinks. Apple. Yeah, they don't have they don't no, idea over there. No, want to go get drinks. Oh, okay. How you know? And don't say that to me. <laughs> what you mean? You don't want to hear about well, your son having a drink? No, I won't find out. From How old is Trey now? You want to find out from Maul? How old is Trey? drinking. Maul, you serving my kid drinks? <laughs> no, <laughs> me. You know I'm Tomorrow. the last. Hey, hey you old enough now, huh? Trey definitely. Here's a whiskey. Trey definitely. I seen a, a clip of Trey going crazy on IG rapping. He definitely had a drink. <laughs> he might have been drunk me. in that video. You ain't gonna tell me Trey never had a, a La Marita. <laughs> never had a Mike's Hard Lemonade from, from 7-Eleven you ain't, you ain't gonna tell me Trey yeah you ain't gonna tell me Trey never grab a La Marita why don't we find something to talk about okay <laughs> the culture let's get back to the culture the culture, the culture. Um, oh wait alright so there's nothing to talk about because it's new. it was New Year's was that mine or yours it was yours where'd it go uh, it was on the floor tipped over typical that's where it usually is uh, Savon get another one of those please uh, so New Year's there's nothing really to talk about because everyone was doing what they were supposed to be doing uh, so again, we get a slow news month. Everybody was celebrating with their family and their loved ones. People were partying. People were staying home. People were taking pictures. People were having babies. People were basically staying out and away from trouble. Um, not only that, it's the first again. So, well, not the first, but first of the month, first week of the month. So you got to pay bills. Niggas is grinding. Niggas is hustling. Mm. Niggas is stressed. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that part doesn't. Facts. That part doesn't get spoken about enough. Holidays are expensive, man. Yeah. And then you got to pay After rent. Hol- and now it's the first. <laughs> yeah, fuck out of here. The first. Yo, bills are trash. Why do humans oblige to to the way that that was set up? Like I'm I'm against it. Uh, Thanksgiving and then all that shit in December and then New Year's and then the first. No, that's trash. <laughs> no. Yeah. Fuck I'm not y'all. spending all my money on fucking frivolous gifts for people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's that's the trick. The companies need to get rid of all the inventory going into the new year. So they hit y'all with a bunch of sales. Black Friday. Man, niggas got shit. What's I the buy. Internet Monday called? Or what is it? Internet Monday. Internet Monday. <laughs> Cyber Monday. <laughs> internet Monday. We're stick with Internet Monday. Yeah. Internet Monday. It's got a better like Wi Wi Fi Wednesday. Yeah. I'm sick of this shit. And you <laughs> niggas run out there and get everything. Yeah, they'll make some shit up to get us to buy some money. Yeah. Sure works. It always works. Always. For sure. Um And you know I think it's the women's fault. It's Guys always- be chilling. Yeah. But then you, you have to get something for your girl and then you're already out. That's what so I'm that saying. Like, yeah, we gotta get something for mom too. Like Valentine's Day is their fault. Oh yeah, their birthday. Damn, that's coming right. Women up too. always want to do birthday things for some reason. I'll be, I'll be honest. <laughs> birthday things. I'll be honest with you. They want to celebrate uh, for the month. Month, yeah. I did go out and think about getting you, uh, the three of you guys, a Christmas gift. Good. Though. Well, thank like, you for thinking about it. <laughs> I went in the store. No, and I actually like the year was good, and, and we've had a good year. So I, I actually wanted to get y'all like a nice gift Mm -hmm. so by the time i added up the price of three of the nice gifts i wanted to get Mm y'all it's over 10 grand i was like oh no they're cool (laughs) cool. (laughs) no it's all good were they versace phone cases was it rolex with diamonds no i got i I had a nice louis louis book bag from mall Mm. because i know that's this thing one of the newer ones i had a louis pouch for uh a fanny pack for uh Uh, yeah i believe they're called clout bags for rory Mm. and i had a purse for you A purse. <laughs> Wait, why does Maul get a big ass book bag and I get a, a fanny pack? Because I'm in my uh, bag all I was, year. I was trying to, I'm in my bag all Maul, fucking year. Maul, that's not why I did oh, that. Oh, I thought that's why. I was trying to do gifts that were uh, personality appropriate. Mm. Okay. Not really about the size. Or so you're a fanny pack kind of guy. Oh, no, I'm a clout guy. 
Because they're called clout bags. Yeah, oh. I have. Oh, where's my phone? I'm That's gonna find bag. something for us to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> don't. No, you were talking about. We were talking about shopping and, and setting up the holidays. That's, that's my job here. That's what, that's that's a trick though. That's all a ploy, man. All right, listen. No, yeah, we were talking about that. And that, yeah. that was good. What? Tell me what? Tell me what? Uh, you guys are looking forward to in 2019. I guess let's get that cheesy shit out the way. Going back to bed. <laughs> <laughs> what, are we looking, what am I looking forward to? Oh. Uh, is there anything that you let go of in 2018? Toxic any, people. Any change? <laughs> I cut off all the fake people in my life. <laughs> oh, Parkson's girl on the roll. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anything that you've let go of? Anything that you want to start doing? Uh, and not cheesy answers like go to the gym. <laughs> no, I wasn't going to say that. Though, are you saying I should I should be going to the gym? Wow. No, I don't think Fam, can y'all that. try to follow me here so we can get through this podcast? <laughs> <laughs> I, I know it's I was the waiting first. on Rory. I, think, yeah. I thought you, you yeah, But Rory and Park's in their white boy bag. You know how it um, goes when they do that. <laughs> I think for me this year, I want to continue to step out of my comfort zone more. No more. You can't say the same thing for last, last year. year. <laughs> no, it was a good year for me, though. So why not build on that? Continue to do that. <laughs> I'm going to hit you with the fucking, that jail logic that you just can't beef with. <laughs> you mean, I, I nigga? Had an amazing year. Oh, well, I guess you're right. <laughs> yeah. And we'll continue to do that. Oh, are you going to add see. anything? Um, I'm not sure yet. I didn't really think about it. I'm not sure. Um, yet. I'm trying to think. The, the I don't wait to the new year to add anything. Honestly. I'm not one of those people. You're not new year. Nah. No, okay. if, 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 if something is going wrong in the summer, I'm going to stop doing what I'm doing. That's so I'm not going to wait till January 1st to stop doing that shit. Like, I'm going to stop. That's a good philosophy. We were talking last week. Uh, I was saying how I was really glad that I wasn't seeing a whole bunch of that no new friends thing going mm-hmm. into 2019. And I felt Which good about it. Which was the dumbest it. shit ever, by the way, that campaign. Yeah, you should get some new friends. That's Drake's fault for that, that, that whole thing. That was Drake, him. Khaled. Anyway, I'm glad we got off of that quickly because new friends were really impactful and helpful in my life <laughs> this you year. You should definitely get some new uh, friends. I'm trying it's to okay. figure out how to make more new friends. <laughs> I am, so I'm, I'm glad we're off of that trend. Yeah, that trend was stupid. What else do I want to see come come to a stop or or start? Come to a start? They need. To, I know one thing, next New Year... Instagram needs to not let people upload so many fucking videos. <laughs> I don't want to see your recap of the whole year for fucking 72 posts. We you want to see everyone's it. top nine? Yeah, no. I don't want to see your top nine and all that other shit. Like, it's okay. We saw it when you first posted it back in April. We don't want to see it again December 31st. You hate That's it. just me, though. Nah, it was, it was it was that y'all wasn't I don't know who y'all followed. No, that it was, shit was kind of a that was crazy. No, would you? That shit was crazy. Yeah, the girls got thinking some new Instagram trends too. No more walking away is over now. You got to do something else. They can't walk anymore. <laughs> yeah, I mean they killed it. Y'all walked. <laughs> they still they got there. <laughs> yeah, not yeah. yet. Apparently, something has to change now. They got to do something different. Uh, maybe oh, maybe walk towards the camera. Ooh. Nah, cause maybe put down. Nah, the some of the witty chicks they tried to get slick and do a U turn walk in midway. Oh, when they the do year. the circles and shit. Yeah, yeah so we saw them walk, walk back. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. Well, I hope the women that that are holding the camera for them get a raise in 2019. That's a, like that's an yeah, underappreciated woman yeah. in your your little clique in the team. The woman that holds the camera for you while you're at the club. Yeah, you know, rapping to Meek. Mm-hmm. I hope she gets a raise. Maybe she could get in front of the camera. Like maybe you guys nah, can switch. That's the ugly friend. Oh, it's the ugly friend. Yeah, she doesn't get in front of the camera. Damn. There's also not very much music to discuss because of the time of year that we're in. Uh, niggas ain't recording. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's crazy because nah. this used to be like the big release. Yeah, all we, that shit changed, man. The music yeah. industry is different now. People release. People are gearing up. People are gearing up for for spring releases. Yeah. Uh, it's like clothes. Like buying winter clothing is the toughest thing to do in the universe now. Because mm. in the fall, it's kind of tough. And then in the winter, it's the spring stuff. Like, same thing in music. In music now, everybody's gearing up for the summer and the spring. Everybody that was gearing up for the for the winter, they already shot their load. And now we're just sitting here waiting for the segue to pass over. Mm. Uh, I'm still waiting for a Ross album. That was one of my disappointments going out of 2018, is that we were they were teasing like we were getting a Ross album. 
And then we never got a Ross album. And now Wale is on, on Twitter tweeting like, yo, I got some shit, me, Ross, Meek. Uh, Set yeah, a bunch like, of joints together. Actually. Yeah, they talking like like there's a little MMG resurgence going on. And if I'm looking at Meek's year and the way Wale's been moving, it could happen. I thought Wale was saying he was going to retire. I mean, rap, rappers Wale do that. changes his mind about things every other day. That's That's Virgo shit. That's psycho niggas. I kind of, I kind of understand why um, Ross didn't release last year though. There's so much. I, I, I think, I think he, I think he saw what Meek was doing and his uh, Meek's momentum and his whole rebrand and everything. I don't, I don't think, I don't think he wanted to interrupt that. Now that I think about it, I think he kind of wanted to let Meek. He could have dropped early. In have last Did he do year. any other features besides What's Free in 2018? My Ross? memory is not that good for you to ask me that often. Um, I know. I don't think so. Not, not that so he was really well, quiet. Well, okay, so so let's say he did the right thing. Awesome. Off of that for a second, a lot of niggas, and we touched on this briefly. Pause. A lot of niggas learned uh, learned a le- hard hard learned lesson last year. We not listening to all that shit y'all putting out. Yeah. So Is let it- me start my 2019 that way. If you <laughs> didn't pick up on that last year, and I know that this this is a quiet. This is a, a, a underlying thing because as musicians, when nobody hear your shit, you know, we don't publicize it. But you niggas know that not a lot of niggas heard that shit y'all put out last year. <laughs> Honestly, it's, it's, it's not a knock to y'all or your artistry. It just wasn't possible. Mm-hmm. I, I, I really hope that that changes this year because a lot of y'all are talented and I want to hear it. And, to, and, and I be trying to hear it. I cannot keep up with nine albums a week. Word. I don't care if they're 30 minutes. I can't. I don't even want. Hey, forget about y'all. Let me take it off y'all and put the onus on me. The way my life is set up today, I don't even have nowhere to listen to the music at. <laughs> yeah. But 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 aside from that too, Joe, I don't think, I think they tried to, artists tried to find a loophole in the streaming thing and they tried to, That's you know, by giving us a bunch of records. But I don't, I don't think that helped anybody. But all of the records, like all of the songs on all these, like more than 15, 20 songs on that. I don't see who did it help? Who did it benefit? Which artist benefited from that? Help I can see Instagram Chris, I can posts. See, I can see Chris Brown being helped from that. Can you? Because nah, we know. didn't even talk about Chris Brown album after it came out. Like, I did. A it was, lot. It's been super quiet. I talked about it. He his wasn't album on any lot. list either. Not at all. That's what I'm saying. So, who did Where's it help? It? Where's album, He's not in no talks in albums in his pockets. I don't know if that was good album, good project. Yeah, it didn't come out last year. Oh. Well, shit, yeah. I don't remember being yeah, on the 2017 list. Shit. I feel yeah. like well, that shit came let's, out. Let's be a little more current than that. We don't need to talk about it. <laughs> when did 2017? Uh, I'll get you December 31st. <laughs> <laughs> no, y'all say that, but I'm, I'm saying because of the amount of songs that he had on his album, some of the records that he was able to to break or attain or marks benchmarks he was able to reach was solely because some of them songs were streamed so many times, and there was so, they were in bulk. There were forty five of them, so yeah, he was but, hitting he was hitting wild numbers that I know they probably w- didn't want him to hit. <laughs> like yeah, it's but not they, like Drake's instance where the machine is behind him, and we want you to break a trillion streams. Yeah, but I, so you got to find we, these loopholes. Yeah, but we got to get. Let's just get back to just you know ten to. to Let's get back. Joints. Yeah, let's get back to good music. Yeah, let's let's yeah. get let's get back to just good music and good albums. Remember good albums? Yeah. Word. And people taking their time to make these albums. I feel like with 18, people were just rushing to put shit out because everyone else was putting shit out. Shit out, yeah. And like sure. I gotta get in this mix. Mm-hmm. <laughs> can you can you can you blame them? Yes. I, I tell me how. Because you certain can't, artists I can. You can't, you can't, you can't, you can't. The integrity of music still has to be inside of an artist somewhere. You have to you have to look back and say, I, 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 you know, I respect this my craft too no, much. I respect it, the game too much. I respect the music, you know, industry too much to just start doing shit. Let me interrupt you, Maul, blindly. because you you're leading us down a different conversation. The, the conversation I think we're having is not about artists and artist integrity. We're in we're in a we're in a climate now where uh, you don't have to be an artist to be an artist, so that integrity is missing. So it's not on us to attack them for not having it. They're not naturally artists. That's a good but point. That, but that's the but then that goes back to what I was telling you earlier in the year about how the, the industry is fucked up because it's easier to get on now. And when y'all were saying it wasn't, and that's what I'm saying. Like there's people that are putting out projects that don't know shit about putting out a project. Oh no, no, no. I think we I think we established that 
too in those conversations. So that's what I'm yes, saying. The people e- that easier to get on, so that's, harder to stay on. Well, I mean, staying on is a whole different thing. I was just talking about. No, it's, no, it's hard to stay on. No, yeah, but that's a life whole different. Life expectancy. If we can Google this, life yeah, no, expectancy yeah. for artists. That's a whole different. Lessened. That's a yeah, whole sure. different. If you get to three albums, you're like a vet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but that was never. That was never my staying on. Was never my thing. I was talking about people getting on, people getting deals, people being able to put music out was easier today, and that's why the industry is kind of suffering because it's like any and everybody is doing it, and the labels are now dictating how the music goes. When I think the artist should be dictating it. And that's what I think we need to get back to. The artists need to dictate how this thing thing goes. Like, you can't just be out here because if we're doing that, it's going to be changing every year because with these streaming services, it's always something new. It's always something different happening. Like, every four months is something n- different that we're reading, different articles of how they're going to start putting out music. So it's like, where are we going with this? Like, yeah. I just don't understand. I mean, they're just fighting to get on the front page of whatever streaming service their consumer uses at this point. Yeah. But, but that's a dangerous place. Oh it's horrible Yeah that's that's dangerous though that's the music, that's the music industry. But I mean I think like The microwave artists Y'all can just put your shit out That's whatever But the real artists I want to get back To taking time right. Like if you gotta take Two years off Please do it Right. Yeah. Like as much as I want A, Rih- a Rihanna album She's clearly busy With other things right. I don't want her To just put an album out right. Just to put an album out Yeah <laughs> Well she's got an album Coming out Oh yeah that's true. And it's not just To put one out She's been working On that motherfucker Right I want to play this clip, uh, this Prince clip, and she looks beautiful. Just because it's uh, appropriate. Thank you, Prince. Isn't it funny how the more things change, the more they stay the same? <laughs> exactly the same. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It is. Uh, still relevant, unfortunately. Well, maybe it's time to change. I'm done trying to urge niggas to change. <laughs> and I have rethought some of my, my thoughts on this whole uh, Leor being a culture vulture thing. Maybe he is a culture vulture. <laughs> he is. What, what changed? Maybe he is. Who told you to talk to? Dame <laughs> no, no I didn't speak to anybody I just internalized I just mm. internalized It's it's all a matter of opinion and, and perspective That's true And when I looked at it further and I, and I took my own feelings out of it Dame looks at Lior the way I look at Kevin Lowes So when I thought about the things that I was arguing All those things could still be true And he'd be a culture vulture <laughs> mm. Well for the people that don't know How do you feel about Kev? Uh, exploitive. Is that the word I'm looking for? I think so. Exploitive. Okay. Uh, in your personal dealings or just and his I guess, career in no, general? No, just, just ex- exploitive in both. Okay. And that's not to knock him. That's what you're supposed to do in job. that position. And yeah. that's the same thing I be saying about Lior. But that doesn't necessarily mean that you're not a culture vulture. It doesn't. Depending on your view of that term and dame's view of the term is everything that he said someone that is, t- takes from yeah, a it, culture it, they're it, not it, a part it, of it doesn't matter it doesn't matter if leo invented half the shit it doesn't matter if he employed half the game it doesn't matter if all of those things could still be true and he'd be a culture vulture see i guess my problem comes from the term getting such a negative a, a negative i don't think this I think there are great culture vultures. <laughs> no, but it is a negative term. Though. Oh, no, that's not true. I take that back. Not great culture vultures. <laughs> I don't blame a culture vulture for, 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 for a nigga. You can't do it alone. It takes two to tango. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I can't be mad at Kevin Lyles for certain things because I just didn't know shit. See, we got to get informed as a people. 
That's really what it boils down to. I didn't know very much. The same way I feel like Dane probably looks at Leo like it would have went different if he had some different information. Or, yeah, the outcome was the outcome. Yeah, I lost my man and business was business. But it went that way because of this. Like, I feel like, and that's the part Flex is missing. Dame could still be cool with the outcome. Because I know Dame. Dame is a man of integrity and all that <laughs> all that shit that's missing out there. He could still be that and not be bitter at all about what happened and just still feel like he's a coach of It's true. All these yeah, things no, can Dame, be true. I don't, Dame, I don't think Dame is bitter, though. No, I think Dame but is he's being truly painted cares. painted that way. Oh, he's... He's being painted that way and it, because and it, he's it's not easy to paint him that way. Only because he's not standing next to Jay every day anymore. That's all it is. Like, and I think just how people interpret how he speaks. <clears throat> Dame Dame is from Harlem. Dame talks yeah, but no, aggressively, but that's, but that's, loudly. Yeah, but that but that that comes from people that feel a way about the way Dame speaks and and when he starts going uh, just people that are insecure. Mm-hmm. That's all it is. Is, is you just not you just not a strong person. Like if you're a strong, secure person, the way Dame speaks to you, you're gonna understand the way he not it's not what he's saying. I mean it's not how he's saying, it's what he's saying that you should pay attention to. Like if he's loud and he's doing all you gotta understand he's fighting for his, his artists, he's fighting for yeah. his 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 business, his label. I guess that's what I'm saying. Not Matt. I gotta separate culture vulture and businessman because you can be for the culture and be a businessman. Culture vulture, I guess, only comes into play when you put your own business agendas ahead of what is best for the culture. That's all I was saying is that Leo doesn't care about the culture. He he's a biz. He's all about making the money. But I still stand by. That's pretty tough to prove. It's not. If you if you talk to people that have worked closely with Leo, they would they would second that character witnesses. Yeah. They would they would second that. Yeah, but, but uh, like you said, businessman. Hey, listen, it's not you know he's a businessman. Do y'all believe in business never personal? No. Like, uh, where, 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 uh, do where do y'all fall on that? Nah, I don't believe in that. Well, are you when you're doing business? With it depends your on who you do business with. Yeah, y- yeah. It is to, to some degree, I have to put some personal shit in there. I think it's but that's that's the difficulty of doing business with your friends because you end up either ruining the business or ruining your friendship. Usually both. Mm-hmm. So that's why it's always tough to do it with your friends. But yeah, you have to take a part. Personal feelings are involved now. Yeah, just because we're doing business, if you're my friend, I still expect you to hold our relationship our relationship to a certain regard. And say you you fuck me in a deal of some sort, there's a way to do it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you can still be this is just business, but do it in a way where you can still be a friend. Right. Like don't go behind my back and do some shit. Y'all are the most confusing motherfuckers on the face of the earth. <laughs> why you say that? <laughs> So in all that y'all said, are y'all are y'all on the side of business never personal or against it? I just didn't get no, that. I think said, it's a case by case basis. Yeah, it, it, it's subjective. It's it depends on who you're doing business with. I think it's possible to do good business without uh, fucking people. It is. It absolutely. Yeah. Is. If if we're and that's friends, and, you and, and I'm glad you said that because that's that's a that's a that's something that I see people running with a lot. They feel like when you do business, somebody has to get fucked somewhere. Right. I don't believe in that. I believe somebody gets fucked because you intentionally wanted to fuck that person. Yeah, I don't believe in that either. Yeah, like if you you don't have to do fucked up business no. to be successful. People think that's business. Yeah. Right. People think if someone loses, that's like yeah, that's no. a good business. No. Which is nuts to me. Right. Because if you look at all the real successful partnerships and people, it's good business. Well, that's why consumerism is so important to me and such a big topic for me on this podcast because there are there are businesses and people that practice doing fucked up business it's my job to know it be aware of it and not give my dollar to it Mm. to not support it to not help empower that business (laughs) yeah that's why that that quincy jones documentary was so dope to me when he was talking about his relationship with frank sinatra and how they never had a contract yeah that was hard and all the business that they did and all the legendary things that they did and the music they created and the shows that they've done Mm. And they never had a business contract. They shook hands. They spoke like like best friends. Right. And but they that's, and that's they handled things accordingly. <laughs> no, it's it's not that it's old school. It's not that it's old school. It depends on the men sitting at the table. That's what I'm saying. That's I all feel it like is. Those morals and values are kind of lost now. I still think there are people that can no, do it still that. Exists, but it's, but it's rare. I think a majority. It's now. rare. And you know what I think it is, uh, especially in the music business. If you have no experience in anything else but the music business, you're taught to do business a certain way. Mm. And in the music business, it's fucked up. You think that that's how you should do business because that's all you've known. That's all you were taught. Mm. If you come up in a label, say. Right. 
I don't think all like when I went over um, to work in an ad agency, it was like a culture shock in the sense of how people treated each other, mm-hmm. how people got paid on time, <laughs> like how everything was in the open, right. like it wasn't a secretive shit, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. because all I had known was labels. Right. right. So that's the music industry. You're, you're taught to do fucked up business, and you think that's right. You think that's okay. Well, yeah, well, that's there, what there, I, there, does, there should be a school to teach against the teachings <laughs> of of the music. I, you know, it's funny you say that. I thought that recently. Now that I proposed, I could share some But there is, story. though. When I was running around... And D- Dame has been trying to do that. He's been giving lectures. He's been... These are the things that Dame has been doing that people are not talking about. He's been talking about the business of the music industry and I need, how I need shit is the, fucked up. I need the people that will get people to talk about it to do it. I need those people to do it. Dame I, should be one of them. He's a legendary... CEO I, I, I in the agree, music business. I agree with you, but However, because he because Jay Z is not standing next to him every day now, people want to kind of not now. If Jay pops up tomorrow, and him you, and Dame, listen, man, you got me and Jay, me and Jay to stand next to each other. You get out there and no, do but, your fucking work. No, but no, but <laughs> you made no, a title playlist. No, here the, the, the thing is though, <laughs> it's what it takes. It, it's not like Jay and Dame don't aren't cool. They just don't do business every day with each other anymore. But the people see it as they're enemies and they they're not friends and they're just stand at third. And it's like, no, that's not what it is. We had a business. We, we sold the business. We moved on. But everything that Dame has been doing has been trying to shed light on how dirty the industry can be and how to be a, your own businessman and your own boss and do things your own because there are people in place out here that will try to fuck you and, and rip you off. You're right, Mom. Oh, what I was going to say is oh, now, now that I've proposed, I could share some of this stuff. When I was out searching for diamonds... It dawned on me, God damn it, you rappers are fucking idiots. I don't be knowing just how stupid y'all are until it happens to me. I don't think any of the rappers know what they're wearing. What do you mean, as far as what? Like fake jewelry? A jewelry, period. Yeah, no, even, even the real jewelry. I went in there, I went in a few spots and said, hey, I don't wear jewelry. Give me some of this jewelry. How much does it cost? What's going on? What types of diamonds are these? What's in here? Nobody can tell me anything. <laughs> the jewelers couldn't tell you? No. Oh, you at the wrong jewelry store. No, you don't say. I went to quite a few spots that a lot of the rappers go to. And that's why I'm saying my point. You went to the diamond district? I think, yes. And the niggas couldn't tell you about diamonds in the diamond district? Yeah, yeah that's what I'm telling you. Oh, no. Nah. I don't know what, what diamond store you went to. Yeah, not only do I, I think that people don't know what they're purchasing. Man, there's scams everywhere, man. These fucking YouTube docs have ruined my brain. <laughs> uh, ju- jewelers, jewelers, That'll veterinarians, the, the, and uh, mechanics are probably the three biggest ripoffs in the world. What are your three? Let me hear that again. Jewelers, jewelers. veterinarians, and mechanics. Vets are trying to get you, boy. Yeah, I got, I got vet, hospitals, colleges, I was going to say ph- pharmaceuticals somewhere. Three. The, I mean, well, pharmaceuticals, we're talking about on the big, I'm just talking about that'll rip you off like right here right now you're talking about in the long scheme of things with pharmaceuticals but look, look, as long as you and Rory wouldn't rip me off I'm cool like, as long as y'all got my back yeah. they can't fix your car though <laughs> yeah mechanic could tell you all, all types of shit thanks, is wrong bar. with your car and <laughs> none of that is wrong with your car so listen can maybe do an oil change the, uh, uh, a few people you know we brought the year in right and peaceful so there's not much to talk about if you're a first time listener of this show please do not judge us off of this show the same way you at work right now and don't want to be there god damn it so are we um so i want to get us a night nice, i found us a nice little segue to get us out of things on this podcast um i wanted to play this last week but i got caught up so i'm gonna play this stevie J and faith fire <laughs> called plus one hey look there's a video that's faith she's the plus one look they're happy hey did they just do the side by side choreography (laughs) hey oh look the verse hey hey this is nasty (laughs) (laughs) Yo, though I know I'm laughing, but though I'm I'm laughing because those are two musical legends for sure, absolutely, and that's what they conjured up in there. 
<laughs> but you know why? They're happy and they that, know it. They, that's, it's forced. That ain't, they didn't really want to do that. You don't think so? No. They're it's trying to get the, a reality show. Yeah, they're trying to. It's for the look. Don't they have a reality show? Oh, see? <laughs> Wouldn't even know. You're they're trying to get the reality show. We scene. happy. <laughs> we know it. We ain't afraid to show it. Come on, Stevie J is better from, than that's that. That's niggas from the hit makers. <laughs> he's better than that, and Faith is better than that. Faith made, I used to love I used to love you. That's you probably to, to that degree, I would say. What? <laughs> Don't ever disrespect Rory. me like that. <laughs> I love Rory's Faith. Rory's white disrespect is getting a little, yeah. a little crazy. Yeah, it's, getting, it's getting crazy in the new year. Yeah, Faith Rory. will run down on you. Rory. That's true. She will. Rory CK. <laughs> <laughs> Rory CK This is how rumors get started Alright so check this out If y'all thought that I was gonna start my fucking 2019 By coming in here and talking about some fucking Kanye tweets You had it all wrong <laughs> I ain't I'm not gonna do it There's a few things that I refuse to talk about in this podcast That I be thinking Rory and Maul will pick up the slack on But then they don't be giving a fuck about that shit neither So we don't ever talk about it <laughs> I'm, I think I, I'm gonna go out and say 2019 I am done talking about Kanye I'm joining you. The same way I was, I'm, I was done watching football, I'm done talking about Kanye. Are you going to watch his Joe Rogan uh, podcast? Probably not. I'm going to watch it. I'm going to watch it, too. I won't. I don't think much will get accomplished, I don't but I'm going to watch it. That's why That's why I'm not going to watch it. Actually, I might not watch it. I'll take that back. I might not watch it. I'm not going to watch that. For I'm, what? I'm not, For what? Yeah, there's no I don't one. need a, another long Yeezy commercial. Yeah. I don't need it. I'm yeah. one, no, I'm, I get I, it. I, I don't want to watch it yeah. for Kanye. I'm I want to watch it for... For Joe Rogan to see how he handles that personality, I don't. Even, I, I don't, don't give a fuck it. how Joe Rogan handles yeah. that personality. I don't care. I don't care about that. We got to stop. Like I'm bringing. Stuff. I'm bringing. I don't care back. I don't <laughs> care, and I don't know. In 2019, are going to be two two very used phrases from me. Uh, in this culture, we pretend to know a lot of things. I want to enforce. Hey, I don't know, man. <laughs> yeah, I don't that. know. His power in not knowing. There's some. Nigga, this yes. power and not knowing. People don't understand that. This yeah, power and not we, knowing. Too many people pretend to know too many things and chime in on shit they know nothing about. I want to reinforce I don't know so we all can bring back, hey, I don't know. I just don't know. It's okay. We don't have to know everything. And what was the other one I said? I don't know. Oh, yeah, I don't care. I don't, yeah, I'm not caring about everything. I don't care about some of this shit. I don't. Some of y'all I, putting no, albums out. Fam, some of y'all putting albums out. A lot of what out. we talk about on this podcast, none of us actually care about. <laughs> I know. Um, bringing in the new year. Uh, I was reflecting back to the days where I just didn't want to talk about a lot of the shit that we talk about. Mm -hmm. And then to see certain people react if we're talking about a certain news thing, I just want them to know, like, no, we, we didn't even want to talk about that. Like, we don't care. You're reacting, At and all. we don't care. You know, what? I'll close this Kanye shit that we didn't start because we're really not going to discuss it. Uh, but sometimes people attack me for my Kanye stance. They attack me, too. And I'm glad that, that this recent string of tweets occurred because it points out why exactly why I am so passionate and why I stand so firm in my Kanye stance. You can't expect me to feel compassion toward you and your family when you lack compassion toward other families. <laughs> I mean, that's just really my, my only point. Why am I supposed to care that Drake follows your wife? Yeah. <laughs> like, tell me why I should care about that when you care about so very little as it pertains to Americans and their lives and their families' lives. You start the year off with this Trump campaign. It looked like you were paid to do it from my eyes anyway. Mm. Uh, I'm just over it. I'm just over it. And not because of my uh, clear... Uh, Kanye bias Like I'm against it But Come on I'm not starting a year With the fuck shit We're not Support who you want to support I'm not against it uh, Democrats Republicans I don't know I don't care I don't care I don't care I don't care That's what it is I might not watch the Joe Rogan shit Because I don't care Okay Fair I definitely don't give a fuck I don't a give fuck. a fuck I don't give a fuck I don't even know why he gives a fuck Why does Joe Rogan give a fuck Clicks. Oh, please. <laughs> nasty. It's YouTube nasty. clicks. It's nasty. And Joe Rogan is great, but it's all nasty. Joe um, Rogan is, is, is dope. Don't, I really enjoy his podcast. Get that twisted, but I just don't care about Kanye enough to watch anything that he's doing, pay attention to anything that he's doing. I mean, he's, you know, musical legend, genius. Uh, you know, he's doing well with his brands and everything, but it's like, you know, I don't care. I'm stopping that too. 
2018, I saw a lot of people that wanted to talk bad about people, but preface it by talking good about them first. I'm not doing that no more. I'm, ta- <laughs> I'm talking bad. Out. Yeah, the shit that I want to say that's bad about people, I'm getting that out the way. I'm not bigging you up no more. <laughs> Musical, la- man, fuck you. <laughs> so what he is though. You can't you can't take that away from me. Yeah, but I don't have to say it. You can't take that away. <laughs> I mean, it kind of goes with. Yeah, but I mean, I, I don't have to say it though. No. So you're not going to say no disrespect before you disrespect somebody? Yeah, it's you're over. just going to disrespect It's them. over, man. It's over, man. Let's get right to the disrespect. <laughs> okay. Fair. Um, Drake and Cole were seen together. How do we feel about that? I don't care. I hope they were going to the studio. You don't care? Where don't care. they were driving. Why I don't care? They're seen together. What were they doing? They were in a car. They were driving. Yeah, I don't care, though. And he, uh, he dropped a bar, too. They kind of rapped together. He said they're in the ghost, no Casper. Mm. Yo, in 2019, <laughs> all ghost metaphors, it's over. It's o- I, let me be the first nigga to tell y'all, ghost like Casper, uh, ghost like Swayze, big boy ghost, no Rafe, no f- Rafe, ghost, phantom, enough. Y'all had a three to four year window of all that shit. Longer than that. It was actually longer than four years. Were y'all let a few of them bitches that should have never been taking pictures in front of the double R headrest get a few pictures off? Y'all <laughs> did, man. Come on, y'all nasty. Them. Man, turn my gunshots up, man. It's 2019. Look <laughs> at all my shit. These niggas think we ain't gonna have gunshots in 2019. You're wrong. <laughs> chicks, <laughs> chicks gotta have the pink slips now. He lied. They take the selfie. Y'all niggas worship him. Some of you bitches was nasty in front of the fucking ghost headrest. Like, why is she there? You know how to tilt your head correctly. Fucking staring at the worst lace front ever. She got the nerve to have a deep caption. Get out of that car. (laughs) (laughs) You niggas is nasty as fuck. But uh, I was giving niggas a pass because on New Year's Eve, that is the time to be nasty. Is Is it? I don't know. I I, I was looking at pictures from everybody that went to live. Well, you're nasty. Come you on, live come on, slow Eve. down. Don't say it. it was a few real niggas in there, but it was a few of y'all. Real niggas can be nasty too. Y'all was nasty. I was looking at a few pictures from Liv. It was nasty times. It was, it, was, <laughs> it was definitely nasty time last night in Miami, for sure. That's it. That's all I got. I'm That's not. Follow, got. I'm not following I'm not, it I'm with not, anything. I'm not following that with anything. Either. Um, what else is important? Okay, let's see. Parks doesn't care that Drake and Cole were together. What if they give us a song? A song? Then, then no. I don't care. Yeah. But you don't care about them riding around in the car nah. with emojis. <laughs> I think a song was definitely recorded in LA this weekend. They recorded them together. They did. Well, I would hope so. Yeah. yeah, for sure. I would like to hear that. Who won? <laughs> Whatever they did. Who, uh, who ripped who? Currently, I would say J. Cole. This Cole's kind of like a weird mode right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah but Drake ain't letting him get that off on his That phone. is true, though. Drake Dr- does step up yeah. with his little rappers. Yeah, Drake was driving the car, so I'm, ro- I'm rolling with Drake. No, Cole, no, was, Cole was driving. Oh, I'm rolling with Cole. <laughs> 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 Whoever was driving is is was the lead, is the leader in the relationship. Okay. And they're going to make sure they had the better verse. All right. That's funny. <laughs> That's funny, but yeah. Yeah, wait, wait a minute. Slow down. Let me rethink that. Cole picked Drake up from the airport. No, I don't think it was. This was a while after. I reverse all of this. <laughs> if, if if Drake was being picked up from the airport no. and it Cole was Cole, pick, no. Cole, hey Cole, I don't have your number. Would you better not have picked Drake up from the airport? No. Do you think he picked him up in uh, arrivals and departures? Wait, why are we shaming him for picking somebody? Pick up his man. <laughs> No. Neither of them should be picking each other up. No, that was, I think that was a chauffeur car that picked him up. That was late on. I think that might have been the next day. Fam, I don't care. I, don't, I, I, <laughs> I, don't I, I honestly don't care. I'm I don't a, I'm, hey, podcast listeners, I'm going to be very clear with y'all about what I don't care about in 2019. I don't care about where they were going. <laughs> that's wild. <laughs> Joe's stupid. Well, picking someone up from the airport with Uber now, that's like a real good gesture. Like that shows that you care. Yeah. Because Uber exists. Yeah. Like Cole could have got a cab. Yeah, but Uber from the airport is real bad. That shit is annoying. J. Cole, like let me just promise y'all. Especially <laughs> J. Cole nor Drake is jumping in the Uber. I could just promise you. Nah, nah, Cole still tries to like act like he's not a millionaire. Yeah, Cole would take an <laughs> Uber and then tell all his fans to follow that Uber. <laughs> yeah, word. <laughs> take follow it, this Take Uber. it to his mother's yeah, house. Yeah, he to get his fans to join in on mad normal activity. Yo, I'm going to Subway to get a sandwich. Any of the real Cole fans hey, know you, I love Subway. You, you started, you started I'm playing that, the album. Though. You might have started that. Listen, I can't. Ball. I can't talk about the things that I started. <laughs> Joe ball. started going to Subway with the fans. Too, yeah. Joe started kicking. No, I, I'm fans. the first nigga to like his fans. <laughs> I'm the first nigga to like <laughs> yet they fans. Yet also berate them at the same all, time. All of the niggas just milk they fans for the money. That I, is true. I was actually bowling with these dudes. That is true. Kickball. I mean, let's what, get pizza. Yeah. I mean, you can keep track of. We had New Year's stuff, parties stuff together. 
Like pool parties. Pool, yeah, come on, parties. man. I'm winning that award. No. Speaking of awards, we got to give Childish is officially the, the nicest guy on the planet. I mean, not Childish. Chance, Chance, Chance the rapper, yes. Oh, what Chance do? Chance had he saved Ch- somebody's life. Chance, yeah, yo, Chance, Chance said yo Chance. on Easter Chance. Sunday. Chance said yo, I forgot I'm to Easter tell Sunday? y'all. <laughs> yeah. Yo, I forgot Chance. to tell y'all, but I saved a man from a burning car and then showed us a picture of him running to the car. Oh, so it was, was a three hat. <laughs> he, sh- well, he showed us the car all fucked up. He showed us the picnic. He's a superhero, man. This is on his Instagram? No, this was on... He recorded... I think somebody that was with him recorded had, it, but they never put it out. He had the photog with him? Yeah. It was a phone. It was like... It was oh, on okay. an Insta story. But they, I don't think I he wanna, ever put it out. I want to interview Chance again, man. <laughs> <laughs> Chance. He's the nicest human on the planet. Chance, he you, is. you have to come back to this show. He's, he's the nicest guy on the planet. Oh, and, and some, he threw in also that he was on his way to church when he saved the man from the burning car. <laughs> of course he was. <laughs> Somehow Chance has outdone even himself. <laughs> Like, you can't be saving niggas from burning cars and not telling the world, fam. Like, who do you think you y'all are? Y'all remember when ODB uh, saved the kid from the car? Him and his brothers, like, lifted the car up over the kid. That must have been some That must have been some strong coke. What is, <laughs> what is show telling Parks over there? No, that was... <laughs> <laughs> what is show telling Parks? God damn it. <laughs> I think I remember hearing something like that, though. Yeah. A kid was trapped underneath like a car a car accident or something. Yeah, yeah, some yeah. Shit. I knew that Chance was on some <laughs> shit. Imagine just seeing ODB's face after the car comes off <laughs> off your torso. <laughs> Never mind. Go ahead. A few weeks ago, <laughs> Chance reached out to say something to me, and he shared with me that he was about to go, go uh, on a sabbatical. Aren't those usually bad? No, I'm no not good with words. No, Rory. <laughs> those are good. Okay. <laughs> Nothing bad is he was associated going with on Chance a, the Rapper. On, on a true. sabbatical, he was going to read the Bible for the first time. He was doing mad, like, positive stuff. Mm-hmm. I really, really feel uncomfortable when positive people t- are texting me. Mm. That <laughs> is because I don't, I don't know how to reply. <laughs> <laughs> like, don't, when positive don't. people text me, I just feel all the negativity inside of me. Did you just say, I don't care? You just send the... Uh, no, I, don't, I didn't I don't say know. that. Did I was trying to hands? sound like I was... Like I was amazed. I, just, I might hit him with "Wow!" Like, <laughs> just say word. You, no, you, you gotta, really doing all that shit? You gotta hit him with my shit. Yo, that's crazy. No, that was crazy. It was crazy. <laughs> but you know, he really went on sabbatical. Then he tweeted about it. I'm yo, I'm learning the Bible. He's reading the scriptures. He's quoting shit. So yesterday, when he said "Hey," <laughs> like first of all, don't hey. <laughs> don't start the story of you saving a life with "Oh, by the way." <laughs> The other day, as I was headed to church, I saw a car on fire while no one was around. I parked, hopped out, ran over there immediately. The car was on fire. Dragged him from the car. By that time, other people had arrived. They were able to help me drag this young man from the burning car that was seconds away from exploding (laughs) to safety. To this day, I don't even know if he lived or died. If he's related to anyone out there, DM me. And actually get a DM. That said he, he lived? That said, yo, that's my uncle. He said, good looking. <laughs> <laughs> and Chance made it just he in said, time for yo, the communion. He said, yo, wow. Like, <laughs> yo, good looks on that thing from Easter. <laughs> but here's the funny thing about Oh, that, that was you? <laughs> oh, that was that's you. That's what I'm saying. That's the, that's the funny thing. Like, what if that kid is lying? Like, what if the, he don't even know that guy that Chance is talking about? Whatever. There's probably a good chance that, that someone would lie. You know what I'm saying? It's like, how do we DM. ever know? How do we ever really know, though? How much did the guy weigh that Chance dragged out the car <laughs> alone? Because Chance might be positive Troy Ave. What? As far as the story I, I know, where, yeah, you're going. I know yeah, where you're going yeah. with Come this. on. Come on with some of these stories, <laughs> Chance. You know, positive you know, Troy Ave. Remember Ave. Troy Ave almost got robbed, but then he bit the bullet when it got to his face. Yeah. <laughs> he crunched it up, threw it back at the nigga, then he died. Yeah. He ran away. He stepped then in the caught gas the to nigga. make it sound like yeah, a gunshot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Troy Ave did a lot of shit. Yeah, Chance might be the positive. Pop, pop, yeah, yeah. Positive Troy? Yeah, Chance Ave. Chance Ave. <laughs> Troy Rapper. Wait, so tell me more about what is he doing on the sabbatical? Just reading the Bible? Yeah, that's what you do on sabbatical. He can't just read? Like it's got to be a sabbatical? I think it's a... Let's like when sabbatical. Lupe went on one, like he tried to climb Mount Everest. Did we ask Chance if he was a Freemason? No, we no. didn't. I think we missed that one. Why didn't we? <laughs> <Did our, laughs> whole interview is fucked now. <laughs> well, why didn't we? I don't. Uh, you, I never you, thought you wanted about to him. ask him about tuna fish. I never thought about him being a Freemason. Honestly, somebody should ask him. <laughs> I'm scared. 
You scared to ask him if he's a Freemason? Why? I'm, I'm scared of a lot of things, Ma. Don't do that. Okay. Yeah, and I am scared to ask him. You text him. I see mad YouTube docs on the Freemasons. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, a lot of Masons are like openly about yeah. the, hey, I'm a Mason. Yeah, yeah open, open about y'all kill you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that about Freemasons before I'm, they actually do it. Yeah, but why not, please? <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Um, but shout out to Chance for saving somebody's life in a burning car while and on being his way the to nicest church. human being on the planet. Yeah, you lucky that wasn't another rapper. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Any other rapper? Any other rapper? You mean Lil Xan's not gonna pull him out of the fire? Yeah. Kiss the game goodbye, buddy. <laughs> Davies wasn't about to miss the basketball game to save you. No. Control by like, whoa, that's that's nuts. That's crazy. That's somebody, fucked up. Yo, Davies is tall uh, enough to save you too. Other that's rappers would have just been Instagram like, yo, somebody in there? <laughs> Fam, yes. <laughs> like, come help. Damn, that's crazy. It's funny. No, they would have went I've by, done that before. Like, I've been filmed on a, it and be like, yo, my next album's going to be, and then just a car on fire. <laughs> Y'all never been driving on the highway and seen some real wild shit and then decided to help? Like, but not actually help, but might make a call to help? <laughs> like, oh, yeah. I've been on a turnpike yeah, yeah. and seen burning cars on the side of the road and I hit 911, like, yo. I just passed some shit. They was wilding. You gotta. <laughs> Y'all I don't you know hurry what up. was Y'all in there. Hurry up. Yeah, I've been on the uh, I've been on the Harlem River Drive at two in the morning and seen homeless niggas walking, looking like they was just ready to end it. Yeah, that's, or yeah, that's maybe, maybe they wasn't homeless, but I've seen people walking, looking like they was ready to jump over. Like if you're just driving on the highway, you've seen some wild shit, probably. Nah, yeah, yeah, for sure. Especially in New York. I don't know about anywhere else. So to stop for it, you got to be careful with stopping. Sometimes I don't stop. Uh, I, it depends. No, in life, <laughs> only one time. Only one time I wanted to stop and didn't though. Like one time, it was a car and flipped on the side, and but there were other people already there helping. Like people get out of the car. Oh, so you felt good about not helping? Well, it was people there already helping, so I figured they didn't need more. Hands. So the answer is yes. Uh, you felt good about that. How many more hands do they need? Two, two, just two, <laughs> just two would have got it done. I mean, <laughs> two Bronx hands. <laughs> two, two Bronx hands. Two How hands many Bronx, Bronx hands does it take? <laughs> yeah, word. <laughs> two hands. From oh, the Bronx. you like the Sally Struthers cameraman? Yeah. Oh my God, two you're horrible. Yeah, man. Um, I mean, I've definitely had pregnant women standing up on the train. I've been like, "Yo, you can sit down." Wait, you impregnated women and put them on a train? <laughs> what kind of man are you? What bro? the fuck? Have some self respect. New, new year, new me. You wow. creep, Roster. <laughs> Don't call me Roaster. <laughs> Roaster. You impregnated women and let them ride the Chub train. Rock tried to sneak in a Chubster. <laughs> he got it off. He'd get that off, though. I know, but why did we let him get in a Chubster? Because he was Chubster. Chub Rock. But that's the name of the single yeah. Chubster. <laughs> they could follow with a word. <laughs> Not word, nigga. How the fuck why am we... I calling you Yo, your nickname? How do we end up talking about Chub Rock? <laughs> you know why? <laughs> Don't tell me you saw Chub Rock. No, this is about to be way worse. <laughs> oh, okay. Because in my brain, <laughs> I'm ashamed to tell you this. In my brain, <laughs> like. <laughs> I love when we go into your brain. I put a lot of stock into certain one-hit wonders. Like, certain mm-hmm. one-hit wonders I don't feel like should be one-hit wonders. And Chub Rock is one of them. You don't think he should be a one-hit wonder? No way. Why? Because of shit like Chubster. <laughs> that was a hit. Should have had another but, but by one hit wonder rules See that's why Because I'm a one hit wonder And I know how nice I am I look for all the other <laughs> niggas That shouldn't be one hit wonders But are Or some of the niggas That's just an interesting category to me Like Jay Quan's an interesting one hit wonder to me There's a few interesting one hit wonders Jay to me Jay Quan had two What was his other one? Hood Hop Don't, Hood do, hop it. And don't do it Don't do it Hood Hop and Don't do it <laughs> Hood See, Hood Hop was a single. Yo, if Hood Hop, if Hood Hop gets him out of the one, then I'm not a one hit wonder either, my nigga. <laughs> you had fire and, and focus club, and club is yeah. You yeah, some hits. See, the word hit changed over the years, so now we yeah. looking at shit like Hood Hop. See, focus didn't count <laughs> Every, back then. Everyone rapped on the Hood Hop. Focus Hood, and fire didn't count, nigga. But no, Hood Hop was so hard though. Like that shit was like that was that was he got two hits. Super basic beat that was yeah. super hard. Chubster shouldn't count. <laughs> what about what about Aman with Fuck It? I thought he was pretty talented. Aman. Let me get my phone. <laughs> Rory, Rory, you would bring up Iman with Fuck It. Yeah, I don't know how long Rory's going to be working here. <laughs> uh, y'all want to talk about Tiffany Haddish at all? She didn't have the greatest New Year's Eve. She, uh, yeah. no, she, she, she said, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, she, she on her shit. Um, she was performing somewhere. I'm not sure. Mm. Uh, I think Miami. And it wasn't the greatest set. And she I wanted to go to live. People were walking Why? out, and she got booed, and 
people were uh, taking video of the performance, just saying how bad it was. Can we have a Can we have a real talk about Tiffany Haddish? And then she, well, let me finish this first. And then she, uh, and then she tweeted that this did actually happen. She didn't deny it, um, and she pro- assured us that it would never happen again. So she had a bad night. She had a bad set. All right, Maul, Ma, let me hear it. What are you saying? What no, but I think was that. I think might have been. I think we had a personal conversation about Tiffany at your house one night. And now we were saying Expose you know, it We well I, mean, <laughs> well I mean she I mean clearly I mean it's here The moment is here From the Joe Budden podcast Expose it yeah, no, I mean, Joe Budden podcast Biggs Hip hop is brother The moment is here It's like yo Like the the, prince of gotta, and Don't ever say the moment is here But go ahead Look it's here Like look what happened Like I love Tiffany Haddish I think she's <laughs> no, I just said we're we not go. doing that No no anymore. but I do though I do though because, uh, You stuck because, in 2018 No 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 man. Because her whole Her whole story of where she came from To where she is now Like you gotta support that Okay but shit on her No I'm not gonna shit on her With, with all that said <laughs> No 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 I'm not, yeah, with all Speed, speed, speed it up I'm not gonna shit on Tiffany Haddish but, Love is love But I will say accolades. I will say though I will say What will you say I don't I never thought Tiffany Haddish Was that funny <laughs> So don't say another word Let me just make sure I understand How we got to this point so your point is, don't get you wrong. I love Tiffany Hatch. <laughs> yeah. I, I love her grind. Yeah, I, I do. Love, I love her come up. Absolutely. I love her brain. Absolutely. I support her brand. Absolutely. Go, sis, go. Mm-hmm. But she wasn't ever really funny. I don't know how she got I, this far. I love, I love <laughs> no, 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 her class. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I, I mean, didn't say that. Don't try to don't, don't you don't really understand how she getting on No, this, no, no. I'm mean? just saying that she. What you saying? So you support her shitty craft? No, no, she shouldn't yeah. be. She, you like her, just not what she a, does. No, no, no. I don't think she's the person for. <laughs> that, that should be telling the joke. No, she should goes right. She shouldn't goes right, but she definitely shouldn't be. Shouldn't doing, do what she's doing. No, she shouldn't be doing stand up. Stand up. No, no, she shouldn't be doing stand up. She shouldn't. Keep her movies. Give her scripts. Have you seen Let her ad libs? She a have bit. a special. Yeah, she does. From before, I never saw how she convenient blew up. is that? She has a special. Wow, yeah. how convenient and I watched is it. fucking that? It wasn't, funny? Black, black it wasn't people, that funny. Black people are the greatest, man. No, it really that it, said it all wasn't of that, that to funny, say though. that she should never do. I'm happy for what her. she's <laughs> doing. I'm happy. I'm <laughs> happy for, for her. That don't sound like you're happy. No, I'm happy. I'm, I'm, That's happiness. No, I'm genuinely happy for her success in all she's doing. Is that how Rockefeller taught happiness? Yeah, but she's. I'm just not. I'm just. I don't think she should be the person that you hire to do stand up. That's all. And there are a lot of actors and actresses that are funny. They just don't do stand-up. Well, she, right. she was a stand-up me, and then became an actress. Let me play devil's advocate here. Let me get old of this thing. <laughs> so you don't think she's allowed to have a bad night on stage? I didn't say that. I'm just saying I watched her special. He wasn't feeling it. It wasn't that funny. It wasn't special? <laughs> it was like, oh, okay. How do you feel about Kevin Hart's stand-ups? But funny comedians have had bad specials, no? <laughs> yeah, but she, bad but specials? she said, yo, I forgot I what I want to talk about. Like. She it seemed like she was really and underprepared. You don't, and you don't identify with that. You don't identify to a comedian backstage on New Year's Eve getting too fucked up to remember jokes. If you have a routine and you're doing, I've those seen type you of at shows, a few. No, don't treat it like a fam. Fam, wait, don't no, no, but before you say that, a word, but before that, you say a word more, I've seen you at a few do says. Forget to add the names to the guest list. <laughs> <laughs> that's, my, like, that's my equivalent. Like, yeah. yeah, man, how you don't understand? What have you seen a guest list? You of all list? people should understand this, man. <laughs> no, why? Why should I? <laughs> no, on, I can't. I can't, I can't do that because it, great comedians. They can be ripped out their motherfucking mind and they still go up there and give a great performance. I'm not killing her for forgetting jokes or getting too fucked I'm not up killing, to remember the jokes on New Year's Eve. I don't care about getting, forgetting jokes. And I'm, I'm just, not even listening no more. She's treating it like you a comedy You let the white club. dude say nigga. Now you want to kill the girl for having a bad set? <laughs> well, he's not white, first of all. But second of all... Oh, you rolling with the Mexican thing? Oh, you no, logic face no, ass nigga? Saying, he's not. He's not a white <laughs> right, guy. I'm done he's with Maul. Maul's logic. He's not. I ain't seen Louis logic and Maul together at all. He's white. He's not. Yes, he is. How you going to tell a Somebody what they are based on what their complexion. What he just did. <laughs> but I'm telling you he's not. I'm giving you information. What, if you don't what, have what we're saying is the same thing that we said about logic is while he may be Mexican, he's afforded the luxury to dance in white man land and Mexico land. How about that? Well, and, L- and Louis C.K. And refers to himself as a white man. Huh? He refers to himself as a white man. And then there's that more. You talking about logic? I don't even understand what, what you're talking about. I'm not t- he opening 2019 talking about logic. I'm not doing that. <laughs> That's why I was. Well, don't confused. try to get me to do it. Let's I thought you just said logic. You I, I didn't. I was talking <laughs> about my brain. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, what are you talking about? But yeah, yeah no, I don't think Tiffany Haddish is. Uh, she shouldn't do stand up. 
What should she do more? Keep keep doing movies. She's great in in movies and her roles, but I don't think she should be doing stand up. Like just just because she, based on be but comedic, that's based on what you can be a comedic actress or actor, but I don't think you should do stand up. But you're basing that on her stand up. The fact that you don't think she's good at stand up. I saw her special and I didn't think it was that funny. So you base this off a, a small sample size. Well, the stand up, and one then, stand up, and then the thing one that, stand up, and then New Year's. You've never done something once bad and then wanted another shot at it. Well, if she has other stand ups that I haven't seen, let me know. I can only go off of what she has out there. I'm not the stand up researcher, buddy. Well, me I'm neither. Not, I'm, I'm just saying home, just I, I think she'll, out the I've only ups. seen one of them. Stand up. I don't know how many she has, but I only seen one of them. I'm not gonna shit her. I'm not gonna shit on her. I'm not gonna judge her. I'm not gonna. Yeah. Everybody has a bad night at what they do. Everybody. Sure. We've had a bad night. No, I'm not. Podcast. I'm not. But that's not. It's not bad. bad. I just bad think bad it was underprepared for people that paid a lot of money to see you. It's not. But, it's not but, a comedy but, but club. She's say, in like a theater. But I'm like, asking. But I guess my question to you is, how can you? How can you say that wholeheartedly? Like, how do you know why she forgot jokes? Do you? Do you know if she was too inebriated? I don't think it was a bombing. I think it was yo. I don't like. I'm unprepared. I don't think she went up there with new material that she could forget or material that wasn't off muscle memory. So if you bombed, I'm trying to figure out why you bombed. Bombing off would some be you did you, have... you did jokes and they weren't funny. She no, just went up there and was like, yo, I don't even know what to talk about. We should drink. No, she forgot her jokes. <laughs> well, maybe she forgot her jokes. Just drink. And the what's joke. wrong with drinking? Duce it's Palooza, new. man, don't, is one of badger people, for drinking. People pay You made a for career out of drinking. And but they drink. Joe, what you're not understanding is... They good, paid to see a comedy show. Good stand-up comedians, no, but, even if they do forget their lines, you would never know. I've definitely heard stories about uh, Dave Chappelle just sitting on the stage and smoking Newports. That That's yeah. his crowd. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not disagreeing with what y'all are saying. I'm just not sending her to hell because of what y'all are saying. And nobody I'm not sending her to hell. I'm just saying she You want her to go into a whole new profession. What do you mean? <laughs> I want her to continue doing what she's doing. No, movies. you don't. You don't want her to do stand up. I want her to do movies. What she's good at. Movies, nigga. Not not I don't want to see her doing stand up. You don't have to do stand up. You can be funny just you can be a comedic actress. You don't have to be a stand up comedian. Like it's it's that simple. I've never seen any of her stand up, so I'm not gonna judge. Me neither, but clearly... Well, go check it out. Clearly, I and then you understand I'll clearly yeah. somebody thinks she's funny. The rooms that she's filling are not small rooms. So somebody, you know, it's real easy to say for the nigga that ain't getting a dime from it to tell the person that's making X amount of dollars from touring the world doing stand-up that they shouldn't do it anymore. Like, let's have a realistic conversation. That girl she's filling up... Lo- dollars. I'm not saying she's making... I don't, I'm not in her bank account. I don't know what she's making from that. I just know that that room that she was in was a large room. And this was a room... So, to for- my point, you owe the people that paid all that money to see you an act. And it's not yeah. like she had the act and it wasn't funny. That's bombing. You just came completely underprepared. And if you're getting drunk backstage, that's being underprepared. She should have bought him a drink. Like, you can't let her off the hook. People paid money to see you on New Year's Eve. No, not only that. I'm not letting her off the hook. I'm just not canceling her. I didn't cancel. I'm not tell, her. telling her she should have a new career. Well, neither am I. What well, new career? Ball. Why do you keep saying new career? She. I'm telling her to continue doing what she's doing. She movies. just started doing movies two years ago. More. She's a stand-up comedian. She's been doing movies for more than two years now. She's been popular for two years. Yeah. But she was a stand-up comedian prior to that. That was her career for the past 15 years. Okay. Hey, check right. this out. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm going to tell you, I don't know, and I don't care. Mm-hmm. If, if Tiffany Haddish never does stand up again, it's not my business. It's not my concern. Mm. But we have a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I like this whole I don't care shit in 2019. It's kind of fun. Yeah, because niggas be talking about shit they don't care about. <laughs> we, do, we do it all the time. <laughs> What's up, Rory? For this entire podcast. Chaka Khan put out a new song. I cared about that. Was it dope? Yeah, I like it. Got That's it. all I got. <laughs> <laughs> Shaka Khan. Put out a new song. See why Today. He's, What's see up? Why he's the E-Mike. <laughs> what was the uh, production like? She wasn't Shaka trying to do no Khan. modern nah, it's, shit. It's, it's her shit. All right, cool. All right, enough about y'all shit. Somebody tell <laughs> somebody. Shit. Yeah, enough for y'all. Enough when, y'all about Shaka? when y'all act friendly, it's just not compelling. Um, <laughs> when y'all somebody, act friendly. Somebody tell me why Floyd is beating up the uh, 15-year-old <laughs> Asian boy. Come on, Because um, he signed Maul. the contract. No, honestly. No, you got to defend this shit. Not because he signed a contract, Rory. No, I've been trying to say that this man might be having financial issues for a little while. 
And I know that's hard to envision because of how much money he's made throughout his career. I don't think it's I don't think it's trouble, Joe. He also just wait. Let me just finish. Well, him. let me finish, Maul, before you interject. Also, let me explain to the public that when I'm saying that somebody is having financial trouble, it's not only contingent on the money they've made, but combined with what they spend. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Your disposable income, mm-hmm. what you earn versus what leaves out. I cannot think of any other reason that Floyd would be beating up the 13 year old Filipino boy aside from having <laughs> financial issues. Now, before you interrupt me and say, Joe, you crazy, anybody that can make $9 million in 90 seconds would do it. Joe is of the 2% of people that disagrees that disagrees with that. <laughs> I do not think all money is good money. I think certain reputations are worth more than $9 million, Floyd's being one of them. I just don't see it, especially when you came out and told us that all of this was a farce. Uh, we shouldn't listen to all, any of the rumors. Uh, you're not going to fight this nigga. We ain't got the rules of the fight down pack. We don't know where we fighting. We ain't discussed nothing. He came out and said all of this. I ain't freestyling. <laughs> yeah, no, I get so it. So now you trying to sneak in a fucking 90 second fight where you get to laugh at this little nigga, where you get to play all types of ring games with this little nigga. And then when you decide to turn it on, you just knock him out three times. Bye bye, little Asian boy. <laughs> Yeah, but I think why is the so- Asian boy in the ring with uh, the greatest <laughs> boxer we've seen in our modern time? Hey, Come on. The kid was 15. It I don't <laughs> give a fuck. That nigga looked nine. No, he, I could have put him down. Does, no, he a, looked confused. But that's we could have put him down. That surprises you that Floyd did that? He cried at the end. Yeah. Maul, well, I don't know how you became the people's favorite on the show. Yes, that <laughs> surprises me. Why, why did that surprise you? For everything I just, for all the reasons I just Floyd, said, Maul. Floyd's entire career. He has handpicked everybody he wanted to fight his entire career. He never fought who he was supposed to fight. He fought who he wanted to fight. <laughs> so this yo, is right on par with yo, that. Maul never ceases to amaze me. Man. What do you mean? You're right, Maul. This is this is what he, he wanted Maul, to do. He Maul, wanted Maul, to fight this dude Maul, to make this money. Maul, he knew correct. he wasn't going to lose. Floyd, and I, that goes back to what I said. Floyd never put you himself. You say right shit to support wrong shit. How? That's why Floyd never put himself in the ring if he felt like he wasn't going right, to win the Maul, fight. You're right, I can't argue with you because because Floyd has handpicked his fights. Okay, that doesn't lead me to believe that he's picking the nine year old Asian to fight. What do you mean? Of course he picked him. Why wouldn't he? I wouldn't think he knew he wasn't going to lose the fight. Floyd, Floyd has Floyd is not going to step in the ring. Off, man, like you just be laughing and shit every time me and Maul start fighting. Am I bugging? Did no, you, I know I'm off in my I'm head. So, I'm laughing like, at hand picking the nine year old. Yeah, but Maul's yeah, defending no. it. I'm not defending it. I, Floyd is the biggest clown in the world, and I tell you that all the time. I think he got an offer. I think they came to him. I don't think he went to them. Okay, well they came to him, and he knew that that kid had no chance of beating him, which is Floyd has done his whole career. He gets in the ring when he feels like. These fighters have no chance of beating him. He never fights a fighter in their prime when they're at the top of their game. He never does that. He Man, fights that them when true. he feels like, I, I know I'm going to win this fight. Ay, adios, amigos. So that's what it is. And this was a $9 million grab. So it was like, yeah, I'll they tried punch to, this kid up. They tried to sneak it out there, though. Here, here's where I've disagreed with Joe before that he was in financial, had financial problems. But Floyd usually gets somewhere around $200 million minimum for a fight. If he's taking nine million, I think something's wrong. No, it's I don't. It's nothing wrong. It's just that Floyd. No, there's a lot yeah, wrong. No, 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 no. There's it's, a lot wrong. No, no, no. I don't think I don't think that there's anything wrong. I don't think Floyd is in financial trouble. He's broke or going broke. I don't think any of that. Can I ask you? Floyd this? is just motivated by money. How much money do you think Floyd Mayweather spends a month? I don't know how much he spends. a I month. I know that's why I'm asking you to guesstimate. I, I, I don't. Mm, I don't know. I don't no, know. It's hard for me to guess. A, take a second. And his, just, his overhead is probably somewhere me, in the five to number. seven million. Yeah, five to seven million a month. A month? Yeah. Nah, I don't know. Nah, I wouldn't. That. Have, Maybe I wouldn't, I wouldn't put it that. His high. overhead? I'm just thinking what he, what his bills would be every month. He has properties. He has businesses. I'm sure that you know he loses money. You don't gain. Every I mean, month. I think money's coming in too when he's putting out that five to seven million a month. Listen, more. They say more will be revealed. I don't think I, I don't will, think he I has will, financial trouble. I will trouble, continue I, to watch. I think this was just a. I'm telling you, he's gonna fight a kangaroo next. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna find a kangaroo. 
They're going to say, yo, we'll give you $20 million to fight this kangaroo. Kangaroo's got hands. He's going to take they it. They do. Because Hand Floyd feet. loves money. Money moves him. And he knows he's not going to lose. I just don't lose, think so someone like, that makes not? that much money at that sport is taking $9 million. Like I think he's got to tell them no. Take that's nine million. I don't have to. Did you see Floyd? He wasn't. He didn't. Worst shape we've ever seen him when he was in the ring. He didn't train for this fight. Like it's nine million dollars. Just go over there, take this flight. If you grab his nine million to come back. If, if you tell me that at the end of the podcast, the the, the eight year old is going to be waiting outside. <laughs> Why to, does he keep getting to younger? Put hands and feet on me. <laughs> I'm going to rush to finish the podcast. I'm not going to avoid it. I'm going to go outside. Yeah, especially put, for nine million, right? I'm going to put hands and feet on that eight year old. So this is what I'm saying. That doesn't mean you're in financial trouble. <laughs> I'm going to beat the brakes off of that eight year old. Exactly. So <laughs> Do I'm you not. Hear me? I'm not going to say that you're in financial trouble. <laughs> Do you hold, hear up, me? hold up for a minute. Eight year olds. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hear you. All our eight year old audience. <laughs> Listen, I don't care. Yeah. I don't care. <laughs> eight year olds are pop your fucking melon. That is true. Yeah, they don't fight. <laughs> they shoot. Yeah. <laughs> Um, what else happened that is of semi importance that we need to discuss? Mm. All right, let's see. Let me grab my phone. <laughs> <laughs> Let me grab my phone, man. Chance saves life. Did that? Tiffany Haddish, Kanye tweets, R. Kelly doc. All right, so the R. Kelly doc is this week. We've already told you about that, but uh, I'm telling you again because every time I see the commercial, uh, I get goosebumps and it's riveting, and I feel like we all just need to watch it. When is that? They Third? are not paying me. They are not. BT is not paying me. I know we did a BT ad earlier. Y'all might <laughs> think this is some promo shit. Y'all think Joe sold his soul. BT is not paying me. I just think that we should watch this. <laughs> this isn't hustling, R. Kelly. Yeah, not not <laughs> not at all. I'm just telling y'all that it looks a little wild, and I want to hear what Sparkle has to say about some things. So I'm going to tune in. Uh, yeah, I think it's a third. Six-part series, two parts a night. The third, fourth, fifth. I'm not checking. Neither is Savon. So how do, we, how, do we, how, how do we know? I don't know. Google it yourself. Um, also, what else? is That Escape Room movie is dropping this week. I know that because I've been to 199 Escape Rooms. So a movie about the Escape Room would pique my interest, and I will be there. Wasn't that a Sandra Bullock movie back in the day? I, listen, enough of Sandra Bullock. <laughs> enough of Sandra Bullock. Oh, speaking of movies, Parks finally saw the uh, oh the banner the Bander Bander Snatcher. That shit was terrible, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Did you sneak in peppermint while you were watching peppermint? Which that, was the movie oh, that you hated? No, I didn't that was see the peppermint. joke last week. It wasn't that funny of a joke for a callback. But you were saying <laughs> <laughs> you were saying well, we spent that twenty minutes talking bad. about how bad the movie was. Did you watch it? Yet? What Bander Snatcher? Yeah. Uh, so I tried to watch it by myself. And when I tried to watch it by myself... You got scared? My No, more. can I finish down my story? Oh. Uh, Lexington woke up. So then I couldn't finish it. Then I was like, you know what? Let me get my kid and try to have like family time, watch it with my uh, one-year-old son. And he's got this obsession with remotes. Mm. So every time it was time to pick something, it was like he a picked. real beef between me and him. It was a fight in the house. <laughs> So that didn't work out, so I didn't finish it with me and Lexington because he kept trying to grab the remotes and pick the wrong shit. So I said, when Sin woke up, maybe we could watch it as a family because she can take care of Lexington and we could all watch it together. And then that didn't happen because when Sin woke up and the little choices came, she took 60 seconds to decide anything. So <laughs> the movie just decided on its own. Right. Lexington fought with the remotes. See, I, wish I, I got frustrated. That, so maybe if you let it go by itself, it would make yeah, it a better movie. I, I cursed my family out, said I'm never you gotta watching anything. got to give Lex the remote with, with no batteries. Never watching anything with you guys again I hate y'all I don't know how we got here and <laughs> wow, wow what <laughs> Fenderstein really did some shit over I was there. gonna say it. so I didn't finish the movie <laughs> ruined your household no. I'm kidding but I didn't finish the movie it's not worth finishing I was too scared to tweet hey I didn't finish this movie but you guys did tell the truth <laughs> Did you enjoy? I had it? a lot of people agree with me that the, it was trash. But yeah, but you know how that, some, some people just be liking shit and they don't even know what they like. It was yeah. a great idea and a great concept, not the greatest of movies. Yeah, well, I also don't know if it's a great idea. I mean, it sounds like a great idea, but I the like reality the is that it's not a great idea. The problem, I guess, was ultimately that the story wasn't that good. That's what I think the problem was. Yeah, but I do like the idea of virtual interaction and. Yeah, but maybe not being that able kind to of. decide which way the movie goes, and I, I do like that. Mm. I don't like it from them. I didn't like that. Didn't really enjoy that, but I like the idea. I like the concept. I've been glued to this You show. Not familiar. Uh, you is a show on Netflix about a guy who is stalking a young woman named Beck, but 
ends up bagging her, but he's still stalking her, and she doesn't know it, so he's killing people, he's bugging out, he's a sociopath, he's psychoanalyzing people. It's a really good movie. I mean, that movie, uh, show. If you don't have anything to watch, because it does get quite a bit unrealistic moving forward, uh, uh, it gets a little cheesy, but mm-hmm. if there's nothing to watch because everything is on winter break, uh, I enjoyed it. I finished it in a matter of a day and a half. Okay. You, you. I watched another. That's on Netflix. Movie. Yeah. You, yes, it's on Netflix and tells a lot about the the girls on Instagram that all the guys are trying. Did to Did you fuck. see the Innocent Man? That was kind of good. Uh, I did not. I did not. So I saw that on my dock, and I was I put watch later. Yeah, it looked interesting. It's pretty good. Oh, I'm gonna check it out then. Murder mysteries are always good. Innocent, Innocent people ones, DNA yeah. saving people. It's my shit. Yeah, I normally don't like to watch the ones when the people are innocent because you're telling me that they're innocent. So then, why am I watching? I finally watched <laughs> like three episodes of Escape at Dannemora. That what it's called on Showtime. That's good. I'm not familiar. Yeah, it's a good Escape show. Escape where? Escape at Dannemora. Something like that. At Dannemora, Gamora. Dannemora. No? We talked about it last week. It's about the, the two guys that escaped from Clinton Correctional Facility. Oh, okay. oh got it, got it, got it, got it. And how good. was it? I'm on the third uh, third episode. Oh man, I might have to buy Showtime. Yeah, it's good, really good. Got to get Showtime back. You I got know, Showtime and realized I don't really want to watch much on Showtime. Yeah, yeah. I'm joking. You never know. You need those channels until they start putting out heat. Right. <laughs> they always hate, do that. I hate going by. <laughs> they always do that. They only got stars. New series yeah. in. You, will, you will curse it. curse your cable provider. I don't need stars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Call them back uh, six months later. Yo, Yo, I need stars. Yo, <laughs> I'm trying stars to watch it. <laughs> that he, I can't see power. <laughs> <laughs> like, sir, you had stars canceled six months. Word. Ago. Uh, let's see here. You, uh, it's fine. Da, 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 da. Do y'all want to talk about, oh, Takashi's trying to get bail. I don't know if he'll get it. That's all I have to say about that. Uh, I think, I think he will. You think he will? Why? How, did I they say he how he's going about, like, why he should get bail? Well, how are they going about all it? All I yeah. saw was a report that seemed like it was from his people saying he's hopeful that he will get bail. Uh, I don't see why he wouldn't get bail. Honestly. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of shit more. Let me see. Why would why would, would Takashi not get bail? Uh, Did he kill anybody? Because they're implicating him in broad daylight shootings in Midtown Manhattan, along with uh, connections to gang related robberies and a host of other things that I won't mention here. Also, a, but a, why also his bailed? safety is at risk apparently yeah. as well. Yeah. So if he pu- goes, pu- public safety. <laughs> For, yeah, I mean, he the could, same reason that they arrested him. He could, he could <laughs> be, he safety. could be, he could be somewhere where people don't know. I mean, he can get bail. Is what I'm saying. I don't think he's going to sit in jail. Do you think until he his trial. will get bail? I think he will. Okay. Yeah, I think he will. Uh, he's definitely going. I think he's I definitely going to do jail time. I don't think. I just don't know how much he'll do, but he's definitely going to do some jail time. Well, guess for what? Sure. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. He, he will. I he have will do jail no time. problem. Not knowing in this very instance. For sure. If Takashi 6 9 is getting bail. Hey, hey, and I don't care. Okay. okay. I don't care. <laughs> I try not to break the law to avoid these, <laughs> these exact situations. That's true. I never wanted to hit population. <laughs> Get me out of this place. <laughs> yeah. You never wanted to hit population. Hit population. Get me out. Where's the phone? Are you finished with the phone? <laughs> you I off? Ma- I got to make a you call. You off the phone? Let me see. Yeah. <laughs> got cash I was on the, me right I now. I was the nigga on the back to back calls. Oh, I, know. I was the he, nigga he was that was on my phone back to back calling me. Nigga. You, you use more no, calls. No, I'm not snitching. I'm just saying. Snitching. Like, no, it's you're not. You're telling people shit they didn't know. No, fam. <laughs> that's snitching. That's not snitching. You was down a couple times. You hit me. Yo, you ain't got nobody to call. I'm like, yo, Mo, I'm not on the phone. <laughs> There's nobody to call. No, no, I'm it's not talking about us, nigga. I'm not talking about when we was locked up together. I'm talking about when you was locked up and I, I drove out there to go get you. Joe got his one phone call and hit Maul. No, he, Maul Joe better had, get me out of here. Joe had, he had many phone calls. I don't even know. He might have had a cell phone Maul, in there. you better get in that fucking escalator. I said, Yo, Joe, <laughs> how are you calling me this minute? I'm downstairs at the desk. I'm, I'm paying the bell right now. Yo, hurry like, up. Yeah, I'm like, man, what's wrong you with you? Through the Maul, window? You better get in my. It's nothing worse than a, a, a nigga that's ignoring you while he in your car. Fam, Come on, Maul, get I'm, in that fucking escalator. I'm trying to, get I'm get trying me to drive. out of jail. I know. I'm trying to drive. Drive down I'm here. I'm trying to get there. Drive I'm, to Kearney. I'm at the window. <laughs> yeah. I'm at the window. I'm paying the lady right now, fam. Like, relax. Uh, let's see what else is important. I don't think nothing else is important. Uh, Lux and Lux and Verb are battling. We didn't talk about that last week. Yeah, we didn't. Predictions. Give it to me. Lux and Verb. I'm going Verb. Over Lux. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, you want to give us more? You want to tell us why? How, yeah. how you decided that? Has Lux won a battle since the... Um... Yeah, that's what I'm getting at. Lux has kind of been... Honestly, I don't think Lux has lost a battle. Mook's cleaned him up 3-0 well, at Ma- the total Maul slaughter. is related to Lux. Oh, okay. <laughs> now so related to Lux. Look that. how I'm related. Yeah, was he at the Niggas that don't eat night? pork is related. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I, I just don't think Lux has lost a battle. I think that Lux is just too slick and too witty for the room a lot of times. But like, I agree. I listen to the battle like watching on on YouTube. He's too wordy. Yeah, and it's just yeah, like, yeah, I think that's his problem. But but even in that, I'm listening to just skill. You know I'm what I'm saying? You. I'm like, yo, di- he's a highly talented MC. Yeah, I, and it's I like, yo, I don't understand how like a lot of this shit I can understand because I've been to like maybe three battles. So I can understand how it goes over people's heads in the room when, it, sure. when it happens. But when you sit back and li- listen to a lot of this shit on YouTube, it's like they didn't catch that. And that was way too slick for them. Like, right. That's what I'm, I'm going from just me listening to two dudes that rap go back and forth. I don't think L- Lux is low. But I, I think delivery and I guess showmanship, if you will, is really important. Has battles. anybody had more showmanship than Lux? He's he paints a whole he gives a whole like performance. He comes in dressed as a Actually, character. Actually, that's part of the reason they be shitting on Lux now, is cause he beefed up the showmanship and I think that's like, dope. They feel like he uh dropped back on the lyricism a bit. No way. No, there's no a whole is that the there's criticism? a whole that, that is the criticism. Wow. All, there's a bunch there's a whole community of people saying they want old Lux, uh gray hoodie Lux, and that's where it comes from because since his return He's been more showmanship. It's hmm. it's been no. I think what it is too is he's dissecting his opponents and it's coming across as preachy, mm. like he's preaching to them I and felt trying to way. like. I think that's what they don't like. But yeah. I like the fact that he because it shows that he's taking time to come up with a scheme and he's you know he's getting into character. So you just know that if I'm paying for this, here's somebody who really took their time and, and really got but into don't, this. But don't, you do think that. You do agree that styles make fights, right? Uh, yeah. So sure. tell me how you view this battle from that aspect. Verb style versus Lux's style. I, I, I just don't think that... First of all, these two, uh, they have a lot of history between them. Um, I, I know Verb has been wanting this for a lot of years. I just don't think... I just think that Lux is way too better of a... a a rapper, but you're gonna feel like that about Lux versus anybody. Yeah, but I mean, in in this in this case, I'm just it's with Verb and 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 Verb thinks he thinks I don't I don't like him for whatever. I think reason. Verb can win. Let me cut you off. We know where you stand. I think Verb can win. Will he win? That's totally different. Styles makes make fights. Uh, I won't assume that Lux is gonna sleep on Verb, but I know that Verb knows that we need the very best. Verb for him to have a shot, but see, I have a problem that with that with too. Though, Joe. So he was with, at his best. What'd you say? Do you think in the Mook battle he was at his best? No, I think he won not at his best. I, I think I, Verb. I, I think if Verb at his best is a top is is better than the major the, the the field. I'm one of those. Verb at his best is tough for anybody to beat. Most of the battles I've seen Verb lose is because Verb wasn't at his best. That's it. You know, Verb definitely if he That's doesn't <laughs> if he if he loses it's because he forgot some lines he messed up in his performance. Like he doesn't. I've never seen him just get totally dominated in a battle. Yeah, neither have I. But um, I just don't think that w- with Lux, even though Styles do make a fight, I just think that Lux is just. You don't think Lux is sleep? No. You sound sleep, but you don't think Lux is sleep. Mm-mm. No, not at all. You think? He, and you I know. Think, I know. Think, top tier against Arsenal. Do you think if Lux is not at his best and Verb? Is at a level we've never seen him at. Oh, then they're gonna give it the verb naturally. But you asking for a lot of shit to happen. And this there. is in Houston. Okay. This is not in New York. Do you think that that hurts that or helps Lux? That hurts him. Yeah. I agree too. It hurts him. I think a Houston crowd in front of Lux bars may hurt. But I think I that- think verb might be a lot easier to understand out there. I think that him at his best. We'll have a whole lot more of the fucking the 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 room shaker moments. But Lux has so much history with Verb, and there's been so much fanfare coming from Verb in praise of Lux that it's it's almost hard. It's, it's like Lux can basically use everything from the past, and like fam, you've been my fan of mine. Yeah, you like you don't need more than that. Oh, well, I could be a fan of you and kill you. Nobody thought that Verb would beat Mook either, but he did. 
Yeah. You didn't think Vert Booty. Myself included. I, 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 I didn't think he beat Mook. No, he beat Mook. I don't, I don't think so. He, he called me a hater and told me stop eating meat. No, because you hate I remember that. That's hate. Because <laughs> he, he kind of <laughs> clearly beat Mook. Nah, like Mook, Mook feel like that. <laughs> nah, he didn't clearly beat Mook. I don't think so. I don't think so. What do y'all think about uh, the other battle, Cass versus uh, Cassidy versus Goods? I think Goods is going to kill Cassidy. I think, I think Goods is going to clean him up. I'm going to be honest. I don't think Goods has ever even lost a battle. Oh, you bugging. You what what to, battle has he you lost? Need, you need to go watch Goods versus Hollow one more time. You know how I feel about Hollow. Uh, I know, but <clears throat> Boo, Boo's got his, his boot smoked in front of Hollow. Nah. No, he didn't. So. Watch it again. I, I watched no that. way to no watch it again. No, nah. it's no way that you believe think, that bad. I don't think say, Goods ever lost a battle, didn't man. Get his I'm gonna be honest. Smoke. All right, just watch it one more time. That's okay. All. Yeah, but no, I'm going. I think Cassidy's been removed way too long. Um, uh, I don't care. I don't care about <laughs> it. I don't care. <laughs> no, I care about where. This. Where is that battle? I didn't see Houston. Where that one's in Houston as well. They're both together. They're both, okay, I didn't know they were together. Yeah, same card. Same card. Um, What's the headliner? I Lux? would imagine Leo I would, Lux ima- and I would imagine it would have to be Lux and Lux and Ver. Mm-hmm. I want to see Lux and JC. I like JC. That's the battle I want to see. I like JC. Mm-hmm. That's the battle I feel like Lux Lux will Lux will be in over his head in in his area of expertise, which which is lyricism. There's nobody that's gonna match Lux's lyricism in battle rap outside of JC. So that's the battle I want to see. You would beat Lux a different way. It just wouldn't be lyricism. JC can do all that shit and some other shit. I would like to see him. He just needs uh, some experience on the side. I think he'll have it this year. I'll pay for that battle. There's a few battles I'll pay for. I keep telling these battle niggas the ones that I would pay for, but those be the real good ones. And the real good ones, some of these battle rap niggas are scared to actually do. <laughs> hmm. Like when money's not the issue and you can actually battle the nigga, you niggas are scared. Why is Cassidy battling good? <laughs> Let's right. get back to that. I'm, I'm just gonna drink this juice. No, I'm just asking you why. <laughs> well, what should he be doing? No, I'm just saying. Well, why would he? Why would he step into the ring with goods now? If Cassidy were to take this seriously, the, it, battle rapping could be extremely profitable for him. So, why wouldn't he battle goods? Why wouldn't I think he battle Diz? Diz? Why wouldn't he? Like, no, there's I think a few should, niggas for him to battle. Yeah, but I Cassidy should, Tay Rock, like Cassidy should battle. Fan, he, need, he could he, make he, a lot of money battling. Yeah, but he should pick different opponents. Yeah, I'm with Maul. I think he's a little too far removed yeah, to go right like after Goods. <laughs> goods is smokable. No, he, he's never been smoked. Well, first of all, you told me he I hollow just, smoked him. No, he didn't smoke him. You what? might think he lost, what? but I, nobody has no, ever no, no, smoked no, no, Goods. No, 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 no. I'm going to go watch that no, again, no, 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 man. No, no, no. I, I don't, no, hey, I don't no, know no, what no, no, no. As soon as this podcast is over, we will watch it together. Okay. <laughs> that wasn't, oh, Goods lost. And Goods is my man's. I fuck yeah. with goods. Yeah. I am never trying to disrespect goods. Goods is a legend. Mm-hmm. He got smoked that battle. That Fair. that I, battle. I don't think could. that. Ba- just that okay, one. Okay, watch it. Just that one. We That's the only it. time I've ever seen it. goods be smoked. I just don't like. I just don't like hollows. I don't. I just don't like the way he say shit. That's it my ain't pro- what that's he say, it's how he say it. That like, high pitch shit get on my nerves. And it's like I, the way he slow it down and drag it. It's like, fam, I'm about to go get something to drink. Like, <laughs> well, go get something to drink in return. No. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with getting a beverage if you're parched. Nah. But we're going to watch that, though, because I got no, to gotta see what you saw. Like, I got to see the part that make you go, mmm. <laughs> I want to see the part that, that didn't make you do that. Okay. It was three rounds of that. It okay. was like Apollo versus uh, Dolph Lundgren. Oh, see, see. <laughs> see how That's, Joe we'll always got to go too We'll watch far. it. Let's yeah, watch all right, it. All right. Good. Don't want to beat me up. No, no, no. That's good. just my opinion is, on nah. that one battle. Right, we gonna Your legacy is already set in stone with yeah, me, my nigga. For sure. But if some of the battle rap niggas, they get mad when I start talking battle rap because they feel like I be trying to hurt battle rap. And I'm not. It's just my opinion. Um, I don't care about Cassie and Goods. I don't. And not because either one of them are trash. Just the winner or loser will not do anything to change what I think about either one of the gentlemen. Like, hmm. Goods' legacy is set in stone. Cassidy is Cassidy already. Whatever happens in battle rap for him, it don't move me one way or the other. They both, they both, they both who they are. Right. <laughs> Yeah, there's a check for both you niggas, and a good performance by y'all will mean great entertainment for us, and that's where it stops. Lux and Verb is a bit more personal. That's very personal. that that one can alter goods legacy. and goods and Cassidy is kind of personal. That too, can't though. alter legacy. No, it can't. No, I want to see something that can alter the way we already view you and and perceive you, 
And that's what uh, Lux and Lux and these uh, are actually two two battles I might be really looking forward to now that I think about it. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Uh, and shout out to Goods, Cast, Lux, and Verb. Verb, I'm uh, not a hater. I, I'm a Verb. I, yes, he is a hater. I, I, I just, yes. <laughs> I'm not a hater, man. I wish you the best. Uh, what else is going on? Nothing else is going on. <laughs> is that it? I don't know. It's quite weak, and yeah, I don't less. care. Everybody's getting drunk. And- Listen, man. Everybody's fucked up with New Year's Eve hangover. I'm sure we'll be back to our normal selves next week. Hmm. But this week, I don't really want to talk to Parks and Rory and Maul and, and Savon and Erickson anymore. <laughs> it's cool, bro. It's cool. Er, Savon, <laughs> Savon the Don, is there a story breaking immediately right this second that we need to get to? Rory, are there any albums that we have not discussed? Rory, you kind of phony, man, because I keep I rely I, I rely on you to be the A Boogie music reporter here. <laughs> and A Boogie, the A Boogie correspondent. A, A Boogie keeps sneaking out music and you don't report on none of it. Now I don't report on it because I'm 40 years old and that ain't for me. But you're an A Boogie fan. <laughs> I am an A Boogie fan. So you are kind of not living up to your responsibilities here on your platform. Well, what happened was he put it out right before Christmas. Holidays happened, and I just didn't get around. To throw it on the A Boogie. You don't put on A Boogie at the gym? Wow. Like while you're not. on the stair climber? Wow. <laughs> that would be a good time for you. Wow, Rooster. <laughs> he put know, out a good album, though. I'm sure he did. Yeah. It was, I was doing it once, I didn't really get to deep dive into it. Yeah. A, a Boogie, I, I, you know why I like A Boogie? He, he has his sound. He has his sound. Tell and, us why. And people, you know, people kill him for it. Oh, he Jack Dage low style and all this. I don't. <laughs> No, I, I don't feed into that. I One day we got to have that conversation on this yeah, podcast. Is, is this the show? conversation about artists that killed other artists, whether intentionally or unintentionally. Because I've heard that too, that A Boogie killed Dage Loaf, and then we never heard anything from Dage Loaf. I saw someone earlier tweet that Travis Scott killed uh, Young Thug. How? Mm. I'm not They're totally not really I'm not, I'm not totally so. No, yeah. I'm I don't not know totally. That. People I'm, just be I'm, saying I'm, shit, man. I don't, like, and I, th- I don't think, I don't I think, think Young Thug is killed. I think there's mad credence to that. No. I think there's mad truth to that. I think there's a whole plethora of artists that Travis Scott has kind of put the mums on. Hmm. There's a lot of them. It's not just Young Thug. There's a lot more. <laughs> I would agree with so somebody saying that about Cuddy. So? Yeah, before, Tra- before Young Thug. Well, Cuddy yeah. been done. Cuddy is not done. <laughs> Why is he not done? Yo, stop doing that, Rory. Yes, how is he not done? Because anytime he puts out an album out, he sells more than anyone else that week. That's not true. He did just put out an album. Doug. That sold Kid what? Cuddy, Probably 250 in the first week. Oh, check that, because I didn't hear that. Cuddy sells check, every check time that. he comes out. Uh, you don't on, understand his fan base. Check his, check his last album, and if it sold 250, because he I doesn't didn't have, know. Because he doesn't have a single, you think. Like, he has that fan base that no matter what he no, wants to come out, you he's come, selling. You come from the school of people that's never going to talk bad about Cuddy. But Cuddy's been, Cuddy. Cuddy's been done for a little while. Yeah. He hasn't. Right, he ain't, even, Since been like the second he ain't album. even been good Two, for a little while. 219 first week. Since the second album. Oh, no, I'm sorry. 292 first week. God That's damn. a lot of fucking people. That's what that he does is. every time he, he goes out. Still done. How is he not done? <laughs> 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 Go ahead, apologize to Rory now. Oh, I'm sorry, Rory. Still done. <laughs> <laughs> damn, I, 292 first week is done. That's a lot. You should want to be done as a that's rapper. One hundred percent. Well, two ninety two. Him and him and Kanye. That's why I don't. That's why. That's why I don't fuck with Rory. Because Rory wow. know what I'm saying. No, Rory is savvy enough and educated enough to know what I'm saying. Okay, he sold 292. Do you think that he sold new 292 based off the merit of what he's been doing musically? Yes. Okay, got it. All right, I'm shut up. Hundred percent. You liked the last like couple. Of <laughs> I'm not really. A cut, I'm not really a Cuddy fan. No, I am. I'm a huge. He has Cuddy a cult fan. following. Can you say it? Nah, I'm finished because with I can because I can go off stats. I'm, I'm Someone's not done. I'm asking you 92. about music, and you tell me about stats. No, but you said he's done. You said he's done. If somebody sells two ninety two, are y'all not hearing? Then I said we got to that part in the conversation where I acknowledged he sold that, and then it progressed, okay. and then I said, all right, this is why I hate Rory because. Rory knows what I'm saying. He sold that, but was it based off the merits of what he has done musically in the last few years? And then Rory said, I don't know what he's done musically. All right, so then what a conversation are we have? I thought you were talking <laughs> about Annex or, or something else with the press or doing the Kanye shit. No, I'm talking about his albums sell that. He has a, yeah. That's he what has I'm talking about. His music Cuddy is selling. He has a cult following. It's bigger than a cult. Yeah, he has a cult following. They, yeah. They're going to support no, him every time he comes out. They, yeah. Actually, they want him to come out more often. But and and, I, and I, from all well, the Cuddy fans I know, they haven't complained about the music at all. No, they seem to like it every time. I'm a Cuddy fan, man. I'm a big Cuddy fan. There was a couple albums in the middle there that were... Okay. 
It was what part? I thought that that was like common knowledge. I thought like, so too. <laughs> only when I bring him up next to Rory is it like I'm because saying you're trying to discredit blasphemous. someone that's been so important well, he, to the, music the, in the, the past. Yo, so because many years. I say the truth, don't mean I'm trying to discredit them. That's true. And well, I don't have the truth. And why do I have to feel like Cuddy has been so important to music in the last few years? I don't have to feel like that. Don't that don't mean I'm trying to discredit him. I just may not feel like that. I don't feel like Cuddy has been that important in music in the last few years. I don't. I'm not from that school of people. That don't make me well, a been, hater. He's been really uh, quiet. All the way to me. Travis. Like, Travis now was the big, one of the biggest artists this year. A lot of his shit comes from Cuddy. That is true. Like, he's been to the sound now. Yeah, Cuddy has played Cuddy's a huge important. impact in how music sounds right now. I agree with that. Huge. But that's not what um, I was but only I, asking about, about how about. Rory felt about Cuddy's impact. Musically, the last few years, like what he what? has, how his music has sounded. It's all his asking. music, personally, not, not his what influence. He, yeah, that's it. Music. That's it. That's it. That's it. Okay. Don't don't get your backpack ruffled up. <laughs> no, <laughs> don't, get your, don't get your clout bag. Clout, clout bag. Yeah, don't get it, your clout bag. My clout bag, please. Can we call him Fanny Packs? And Cuddy's a great kid. Like I met him in the club. He was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I laugh every time Joe calls a grown man a kid. <laughs> well, his name is Kid. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> His name is Kid Cuddy. No, but you said Cuddy is a great kid. Well, what are you talking well, about? Now it's kind of like a bar reverse. Cuddy is, is a great kid. Man Cuddy. <laughs> man Cuddy. His, his actual name is Muscuddy. So like, I'm right? not never so. calling him Mistetti. I don't know why Man Cuddy. Man Cuddy sounds freaky. <laughs> no, and Mistetti sounds freakier. Not Mistetti. I'm not, no, you say Mistetti. I don't know what you and Rockefeller niggas be doing. What you talking about? Why, why you know anybody's name is Mistetti? His name is not Mistetti. All right, well, man. I'm off. I'll just call him Man Cuddy, man. Man Cuddy. <laughs> man Cuddy. Man Cuddy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I think that's about it. <laughs> I tell you, I think that's all we have this week. <laughs> Ay, John, that's really not all we have. I'd love to hear what y'all think about uh, Antonio Brown versus the Steelers. What's he doing? He's trying to get out of there. His match, you going on? Yeah, this might be over for the Steelers. Um, uh, little... Did he play the last game? No, nah, I think he was banged up. Though, so what do you it? mean? What's going on? Well, with the Steelers? I thought you heard he didn't play. He didn't play. Sell two hundred ninety two albums they, first they, week. <laughs> They had, a must, they had a must-win game that he didn't play, like a must-win to make the playoffs. He didn't play. Uh, rumors say he got in a big fight with Ben Roethlisberger after mm. the game and Mike Tomlin after the game and uh, demanded a trade. Huh. So now on uh, all we're seeing is team, what team do you think Antonio Brown will go to? Wait, whatever, whatever Odell is on? No, nah, Steelers not going. Damn. No. Yeah. Ravens ended that. Yep. Yeah, Le'Veon won. <laughs> That's a fact. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good call. <laughs> I mean, he did. Um, Giants going to the playoffs? No. <laughs> I know. I'm just joking. I'm joking. <laughs> yeah, we got I, I can see uh, Antonio going to the Giants just because Odell's there and they're do, besties. Do we have sleepers, anybody? Antonio's not going to the Gi- Giants. <laughs> no. Wherever Odell's going, man. You <laughs> no. don't understand their bromance. He's gonna get, Wherever Drake is going, the he, two of them are going. He's going to get paid. They're going to Toronto, both of them. He's going to whoever's got the big bag. <laughs> I just want to play a sleeper. <laughs> I'm going to bed. Go ahead, play your sleeper. As soon as this shit's up. <laughs> go ahead, man. You know you go first. You set it off. You set the tone. Yo, mm. listen. What? <laughs> set the tone. <laughs> Damn. Did y'all see? Uh, did y'all see uh, the Blue Laces video by Nipsey? No. Yeah. You liked it? Mm-hmm. I liked it a lot too. My Nipsey. only be God. I just wish it would have came sooner. The, the video. Yes, I feel like it was. It was a little him. late. I thought it was a lot late. It would have helped him a lot if it came sooner, but great vid, great visual. Shout out yeah, to Nipsey. It's a good great time, album. so you get the extra little awareness for the Grammy. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, it's, it's that, already it's set that in time. stone. It's that time now to try to get your Grammy push, right? Yeah. It's set in stone was winning that. What, that that uh, category? Hip hop album. Yeah. Yeah. We got to put a podcast on, like, as an album so we can win a Grammy. That's a good idea. So we can win, like, a spoken word Grammy. We can win an Instagram <laughs> no, no, the podcast, the podcast <laughs> awards are on uh, iHeart. Oh, my bad, yeah. iHeart, iHeart award, awards. I'm definitely be tuned in. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, again, uh, everybody have a happy new year out there. Uh, be safe, be blessed, be healthy. Apply all of the shit that you said you want to change and do differently and, and whatever needs to happen to make yourself better, man. Salute to you, blessings to you and your family. Uh, let's have a real good, good, positive year with positive vibes and positive energy. No cap. No cap. No cap or Nick. 
Uh, to anybody complaining about a two-hour podcast, fuck y'all. Uh, we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna fuck out of here. I'm so going much, home. So much for those positive vibes. I'm going home. I'm getting in bed. I'm gonna just find something to watch. So glad I don't have a fucking thing to do tomorrow. I'm gonna enjoy this New Year's Eve hangover for the next week, hmm. and I'll be productive maybe next week or somewhere around the 21st. <laughs> the end of the month <laughs> you yeah. be back at the end of the month oh yeah yeah come the 21st I'm, I'm gonna be ready to, to figure my February out get the rest <laughs> of the year together get out there in the streets State of the Culture crew try to hit the group chat today. Someone, hey, no, <laughs> no, Leave no, me alone until April. Not, not yet. Lyric, <laughs> it's the second. Don't be thirsty about it. We'll get to work soon. Uh, again, keep us in your prayers. Lord knows we need to be there until the next time. I bid you adieu, Spotify gang. You heard.